Welcome to Conscious Reconstruction. And we just had a whole, like... Whole show before the show. We did. It's all right. That y'all can't have. No, y'all can't have that, though. <laughs> Too many names and dates and places. But we got mm-hmm. a whole live show. We got an argument for later on about how men aren't toxic. We got <laughs> a couple of things talking about bitch-ass Gail King. That shit. <laughs> but first, we're going to get to this science. Man... Science tidbit. So what's I going do this on? every once in a while. Uh, so they found the salamander, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> in uh, Europe, it lives for a hundred years, right? Or its lifespan is about a hundred years. And um, basically, this calamander, <laughs> calamander. Oh shit! This salamander lives its life in one spot. It don't ever move? It moves about once every 12 years. So, like, if I never left Cleveland? Like that? Like, if you, if left you never tw- left your bed yeah. for 12 years. Every 12 years, you get out of your bed to, to mate. Oh, and then you mate. go back to your hole. Oh, that's terrible. That's yeah. like, what? That, yeah. What kind of life is that? So, that's, what, that's how that salamander kicks it. It doesn't have any <laughs> natural predator, so it's fine just sitting where it's at. <laughs> so nothing wants to eat this lazy no. ass. Why is it like poisonous if you eat it? I mean he's a cave dwelling, so there's nothing really in the clay cave oh, so big enough to like yeah. Okay. So there's nothing around him to yeah. eat him. All right. So he, he like so in him. his cave habitat there's no natural predator. Cause I was like, so how's he this just lazy kicks nigga it. just like chilling? See, and he no one eats him yet. <laughs> yeah, he just eats what passes by. Cause you're in a cave, <laughs> like the cave, just, like the what? ground of the cave is like he, infested with like insects and shit. Because you just said this uh, eats what passes by. Yeah, yeah, he lazy as fuck. Yeah, this is like my 300 pound life for animals. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he moves every and he moves about equivalent to every 12 years out That's of his hundred year. How often those big women have sex with those men that be feeding them? <laughs> I had a friend that was into that feeding bitches. Mm. That's my hope. Never mind. Okay. I just know somebody that just was into that. All right. That's that's a whole nother lifestyle right there. I'm that shit weird. is so interesting to me. You just feed her <laughs> and you like it? <laughs> you like watching her get bigger? <laughs> hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But why? I don't know. They could I didn't divulge it. into it. Oh, I it was in a whole conversation. I wouldn't have <sighs> needed to know. I'm like, I got questions. <laughs> That shit's crazy, but I love it. I love, like, knowing those Yeah, I'd things. have to understand that. Yeah, I need to understand. But, yeah, so this salamander, that, that's what he does, or it does. It just kicks it in a spot for, you know, years at a time, eating what passes by, and then, you know, moves when it needs to mate. Every 12 years. <laughs> so, they only make babies every 12 years? Yeah. It doesn't go into detail like like the like the reproduction and all that, so I don't know how many eggs it lays or things about that sense. It it probably doesn't lay many. It can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's lazy. It's not taking. Look, care I got of one, one maybe two good ones for you. Not taking care of the fucking baby. <laughs> what deadbeat dead ass elementary? <laughs> the fuck? No, I can't get with that. First, you would think that'd be an appealing life, but mm, it's too much life to live, I guess. I love my bed, but not that fucking much. Right. I got to get out that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's ooh. starting to hurt. <laughs> they don't have bed sores. Like, how you be just in one spot and your body don't just, like, get sores? Like, that's what happens to, like, <laughs> people who are paralyzed. Uh-huh. They just sit for too long. Mm-hmm. And you don't move or anything. They'll get, like, bed sores. Yeah. And it's just from just being in the same spot for so long. Your body just is not... All right with that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but this salamander is like, nah, bed sores don't exist for me. Mm-mm. That's. He's just here. Now I'm here. I have so many questions about this salamander. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Like 12 years, though? Mm-hmm. Bruh. You know how much shit happens in 12 years? A lot. A lot. All that nigga does is sit there and That's eat. That's a lifetime. <laughs> All he does how is sit there and they eat. live? 100 years. Their lifespan is 100 years. So, uh, out That's of the 100-year span, they move every 12. 
No, <laughs> they don't even move 12 times. No, I said they move every 12 years within but they that. They move eight times. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I, what to tell you. That's just so what it is. With Remember half baked and the man on the couch, the nigga uh, on the couch. That's what that remind me of. I'm like, damn, you move more than the fucking thing on the couch. Like, I don't understand how this. I is. mean, if you want to do a little bit more research into them, they're called Ohms. O L M S. Oh, that's the most meditative animal. That's so cute. I mean, they they sit. And do no, move. but like, okay, so there was specific like, one they, they talking about. They now. I'm sorry. You call them Ohms. Um. <laughs> I mean, the name changed everything. Yeah, for like, as soon as you who learn, who am I to argue with divine will? <laughs> they clearly meditating. The people spe- named them. The specific one that they were observing, they looked at it and watched, and it didn't move for two thousand five hundred sixty nine days. It didn't even budge. It was just there. Who am I? And they also have the ability to go very long time. Like most reptiles, they can go a very long time without eating. Mm-hmm. So if nothing does happen to wander to buy, they can just kick it. That's the homie now. I mean, alligators and crocodiles can go like a year without eating. Yeah. Like the Nile crocodiles. They're not dedicated enough. Like when the great migration happens in Africa and the wildebeest have to cross the Nile, the crocodiles eat. They eat good. And they ain't got to eat for a while. <laughs> they just go kick it. No, like, Look, after that Nile there, crossing, that's owns. the safest time to cross the Nile because ain't no crocodiles about to get at you. They just kicking it. They like, huh. That reminds me of those. Sound like um, Ross just. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of those monks that meditated themselves, or did they die in like a meditative state? And then I pe- think people discovered it, and they like covered in gold, but then it's like the body inside of it. Yeah, that's what that reminded me of. That's wild. You're just like, nah, I'm going to just be here meditating. That's mm-hmm. what the salamander doing. What, there's no coincidence that that motherfucker's called Om. Come on now. <laughs> I'm Take mad. life lessons from the salamander. Be still. No. Sometimes the best thing to do is nothing. Not for 12 years. Doing nothing years. is doing something. Not, Not for 12, 12 years. years. We had to flip that shit. <laughs> <up. laughs> doing no, nothing is doing shit. nothing for 12 years. Nigga, that's, that's, that's divinity. Nothing. I can't I mm-hmm. can't argue with that. That's a good portion of somebody's life. Right, Daddy well, chose to do nothing. Doing nothing. That's your whole childhood. Did you do nothing for 12 years and let me know where that gets Ooh, you. Ooh, ain't nobody saying nothing about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the I like how it's not good yeah, enough oh, for no. you. No, 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 it's good no, enough no. for that motherfucking salamander. <laughs> okay. and, I, and I'm inspired by his divinity. Like, they're, they're, <laughs> but not enough to follow it. Obviously path. thriving. No, I'm gonna definitely <laughs> do that for like I, when I meditate. That's definitely me honoring the little salamander. Or when I just be laying there, I ain't gotta feel bad. Salamander's out here sleeping with twins. I'm glad you said when I'm just laying there, I don't gotta feel bad. No, I didn't really move today. Like, oh shit, now I feel really great about that. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Like compare yourself. Riley to a think like we doing schoolwork today. What you want to do, Riley? <laughs> Not schoolwork. You got a kid. Let's just take your day off. You work really hard. <laughs> you work so hard, baby. Let's just take this day off. And like, um. She was like, bet. Like, what a Roblox at? Go grab a computer. Have at it. Mm-mm. Yeah. Nah, you got to work. Mm. Okay, so and uh, other and move <laughs> animal. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, you right. I do got to work. I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah. No, so and no. other animal news, I guess uh, fungi. Um, so we discovered some fungus within the Chernobyl reactors, which are uh, feeding off of the radiation. <gasps> Ooh, see, I told y'all this shit wasn't all that bad. <laughs> Look, <Like> ash. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still dangerous in there, but <laughs> damn, it's a show I was watching called Dark. It's like set in Germany or some shit, mm-hmm. and the show is based off of them being around those nuclear reactors. But like that, it's about time travel. So the time portal they go through is right up under those nuclear reactors, right mm-hmm. around the time like Chernobyl happened. Mm-hmm. Was one part of the story, and then I think in a different like it take present day. And then they, um, the nuclear power plant going down this present day, but 1983 when it was popping mm-hmm. is what it's sitting around. I don't know why I brought that up, but it's a good show. If y'all like stuff about time travel. Time travel has this. It should get wonky. I watch Your Name, that fucking anime. Mm-hmm. That's when I started like, yo, what the fuck just happened? I threw time travel out the window when I decided to watch uh, Ancient Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. From like the 60s 
Oh, okay. I was like, it's over with. Because that was that black and white shit. I don't know. That shit was terribly slow. I watched all of it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. But, um, so, Chernobyl, right? So, this, this it's a black fungus, of course. And it's in there. It's eating the um, radiation, essentially. It has bacteria that allows it to uh, process radiation in the way plants would process, like, sunlight or anything like that and turn it into energy. Nature be so dope. And, I'm, like, that was the point I was rolling to with this. I'm like, so realistically, and nature, like, a hey, we can break down. We can take anything. Fuck what you're talking like about. Just like niggas. Like, <laughs> how could you not see the parallel? And it's like, we ain't got no plants for this. We ain't got no animals for this. Well, we got this fungi because fungi is, like, nature's, like, ultimate decomposer. So it's out here like, hey, radiation, we got it. Yo, shout out to the black fungi. We going to take this out. It's going to take a while, but we we, we going to get rid of it. We not here for y'all. We here for the planet. <laughs> Being black is the dopest thing in the universe. And I'm really sorry that people don't get to experience that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Y'all don't even understand. Like, just that. Like, Wow. So the s- <laughs> I love Marco. He's just like, you know, what? I'm gonna just move on. <laughs> no, I, I figured she was done. <laughs> I could go on, but I said peace on that shit. I could keep going, but I'm mean, not my turn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I thought this was interesting, but I'm not. I don't really. I guess the story is okay. I feel like you don't care about this. No, like, I didn't know there was flammable ice. For real? Yeah, so that's why I'm interested in the story. But the reason that the ice is flammable is also the reason, like, uh, the story is, like, talking about life forms being able to exist within um, oil and salt water. Yeah, I was about to say that. Because water can catch fire. Yeah, so it's like the glaciers and whatnot freeze. It's got like methane traps, oil and methane in it. And there's like microorganisms surviving, striving, breeding, and living within these bubbles that is trapped in the ice. Hmm. But that is also the same reason the ice is flammable. Because the ice formed and trapped all this methane and oil within it. So you got flammable ice. Set that shit on fire. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'll be the first one to set some ice on fire. <laughs> I'm hard headed for no particular reason. Um, <sighs> cat pat though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll talk about this. I really don't want to talk about this, but I'm gonna talk about it because it's just like swarming the world right now. So back to coronavirus, right? Oh, I had something on that. Go ahead. Um, on top of the fact that it's starting to like break out across the world. Um, we got a couple cases in Europe now. We got a couple cases in our country. Um, there was an investigation launched on to, on this uh, mask mm-hmm. that was being sold on Amazon that was guaranteed to prevent you from getting the coronavirus if you wore it. And um, it's right And uh, pretty much what happened was the FDA looked into it and whatnot. And it's like, why? so y'all just online selling people these masks, guaranteeing that it'll protect you from uh, coronavirus with no facts behind it. And people were buying it. You know, you know how mm-hmm. people get in panic. So it all got ripped down and... Uh, they're looking into the whole situation and Amazon stopped selling it and things along those lines. Also wrapped with uh coronavirus, China also confirmed H five N one bird flu outbreak <laughs> amid the coronavirus outbreak. That's brazy. So China it seems like they become a breeding ground for viruses here. So they got this coronavirus. They got a bird flu popping off too. Either China trying to wipe their population, because they got a lot of goddamn people, to the point that they kicking females out the country. 
I'm not even being funny. You, bitches leave. you know how many like ooh, at one of my jobs, you know how many girls like I would see with their abduct abductive like white parents. Mm-hmm. It's like these whole white couples come through and you, you know, see like and you see you baby. see white daughter, white daughter, Asian. Huh? <laughs> Asian girls though it was always Asian girls though always ain't that always. what they got rid of mostly over there yeah we had that that's what the yeah rule mm-hmm. so that's you crazy. you see so many like I saw so many like just couples that just had Asian children hey can you adopt an Asian baby I could but I'm not please you do that I'm asking you to do it though no you grown I need you to raise the baby <laughs> I don't want to I no you, you grown <laughs> I need you to raise the baby to be a crochet. I don't need that in my life right now <laughs> I don't want that why won't you this is not fair. You're an adult. I'm asking you to do it. But I don't want to. And I don't understand why. Because I have agency. Because you have agency. <laughs> agency is my favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> I have agency <laughs> over <crazy>. myself. <laughs> but no, also the coronavirus is a, a global health threat. Yep. According, that's what the World Health Organization declared. It's a global public health emergency. Okay. So yeah. 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 They said they got 8 million people left China. <laughs> 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 oh, 8 million, though. I'm so sorry. I mean, y'all. that's what happens when you have a country where it's so densely populated. Mm-hmm. And that is hard to keep, like, clean and things of that sense. So then you get things where viruses pop off. And if it's in the right environment, the virus will evolve and turn into something like coronavirus and destroy your life and it's an airborne virus which makes it even worse so and it attacks your respiratory system so yeah just your whole breathing situation spreads it Hmm. yeah don't breathe i'll try that i'll practice that good you first i have stopped breathing Eight years ago. <laughs> this chest palpitation that you see, that's for y'all. See, that's, that's why theater. I need you to adopt an Asian baby to <laughs> impart that knowledge unto the world. <laughs> nah. Look, that's a know. good enough reason. Nah, they good. They buddy. are fine where they're at. This buddy. <laughs> Try to tweak my case here. You keep knocking it down. You're not helping me. What do I got to do to get you to adopt this Asian baby? <laughs> Mm, you adopt an Asian baby. Mm. What's next, Marcus? <laughs> mm. Weather warning. All right, so uh, it's not. This is an immediate. What year is this? Twenty twenty. Yeah, this will happen within our lifetime. Um, it's possible that Earth could go through a mini ice age by uh around the twenty fifties. Damn. So, yeah, it's like, uh, it's not, it's enough in our lifetime that we'll still be, like, here and, like, we only be 60. Like, uh, at least I'll only be 60 30 years from now. So, I'll still be alive and kicking, hopefully. <laughs> Nothing happens that takes me away from here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I presume I'll still be alive and kicking. But it's not by fault of us. It's just the sun going through its motions. And, like, the sun goes through its dormant periods where it's, like, high on, um, like, higher is pushing out more energy. That's when it's, like, really active, um, giving out, like, solar flares. And it's, like, flaring a lot and things of that sense. So, basically, the sun decided that it wanted to take a nap. Basically, because the sun's going to go into a hibernation. I'm so glad you said that because I'm writing this story, right? And uh-huh. I'm going to write about how the sun was black and how it became what it is now. And that's how they lo- kind of lost their power. But that you said that, I could put that science in the book. Why would he do it? Like? <laughs> I'm so mad at you. <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> you praise but, the universe when you can. <laughs> but yeah, so the sun's basically going to go into a hibernation where it's not active at all. And it's not going to be pushing out the immense amount of energy it's doing. It's still going to be there. We're not going to freeze over and die, but it's going to be like, like you said, mini ice age. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> imagine you said it's still going to be there, like niggas were thinking that the sun was just going to disappear. Like, it was just going to take a day off. Like, nah, <laughs> I'll be back. 
<laughs> Watch my kids. I mean, I, you know, I gotta put it out there because, I mean, like, you do. I should. I just gotta make sure people understand the son's you not right. gonna be like, "Hey, you right. You know what? I'm gonna hibernate." You, but this is the thing, though, right? When the son goes to hibernation, though, it's going to hibernate for at least thirty three years, mm. thirty to thirty five years. That's cool. So we'll deal through a little period in which the planet's just colder, and so it's like, and on a planet, you said what? Move to the equator. Essentially. I mean, like, if we went through an ice age, essentially the top half of the planet would probably freeze again. And the bottom half would probably freeze again. And we'd be at the equator like they were in the ice age or living on the ice. Live your, you know, pick or choose. I mean, we could Seven live on the people? ice. I know. Fucking, we, we could survive on the ice. Gross. I mean, if you believe in evolution and the Neanderthals and everybody that lived through the ice age the first time, I mean... Humans can survive nah, on ice. I don't even need to believe in that. I just know we have enough technology to keep us warm. Yeah, that's true also. Yeah, there's nothing to do with us. It's we just built enough shit. So, I mean, we can survive on ice. It's just, hey. No one wants to. Right. That's, <laughs> not pleasant. that's it's inconvenient, cold. nigga. It's right. inconvenient as fuck. Fuck is this? It could, it could be done. Right. <sighs> This ice shit. Hey, I'm already annoyed. Better? I can't go to Sephora and those it, ice. It'd be terrible if, along with the ice age, we got the like sun pattern of like Alaska. <sighs> so we we hit sunlight for six uh, six months. And what are you saying? Dark, it'd be darkness night? for six months. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But then it'd be thirty three years of darkness. No. Why not? Cause it would be leaving. half a year of darkness. So technically, wait a second. So the sun taking a nap, so it's still bright. Yeah, you still get the sun It'd be like when the sun and a half years equivalent time of darkness. Yeah. So with that, you wouldn't get um, it wouldn't be a situation where the sun's like not giving this energy. Like life won't end on the planet when the sun hibernates in thirty years. It's just the global temperature drop one degree, which normally isn't a like it doesn't sound like a lot but on a global scale that's a lot and the planet's going to cool meaning the planet's going to freeze up again Uh and the caps are going to freeze uh and the planet just you know the ice uh come down essentially so people up in the north like canada the northern parts of europe russia um, all them people are probably going to have to move down or deal with more ice and snow. Yo, shout out to climate change because we ain't had no snow for real up here. Mm-mm. No, shout out to climate change. I don't know what the fuck. On the other side, um, on the other side of that, uh, with climate change, uh, there's a possibility that London will be underwater in the next fifty years, completely submerged. Yeah, London. Shout out to London. What? The new Atlantis. <laughs> I mean, I had to let it for going under, y'all. You the real MVP. <laughs> it, look, London gonna become New Atlantis. It's okay. The new Atlantis? Oh, I refuse yeah. to think that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say that. <laughs> People in the next six thousand years will be like, oh, the sunken city. I'm not. No, nah, them niggas <laughs> eat blood sausage. Like, nah, you not about to convince me that's the next popping thing in Atlantis. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Nigga, Man, cornbread is a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. You ain't never had blood sausage. The blood and the sausage. <laughs> exactly. She's looking at you. Yeah, how I feel in your mouth, Tony? Go ahead, tell me. I ain't never eaten it myself. <laughs> but I've heard. But I've heard that the blood and the sausage together. <laughs> the blood and the sausage. Because if, if you think about it, it's just like a dick with a sauce on the outside. Hmm. Yeah. This has been conscious reconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm over it. <laughs> That's the end of the show. It's so rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, in other news, they use CRISPR. They're starting to use CRISPR for uh human trials and uh cancer. Um through their trial basically the process of what they're doing is they take T cells from the human or the person. Who they're trying to treat. <laughs> and they use CRISPR to genetically modify the T cells. And then they reinsert them into the person. And those modified T cells um, 
go to the infected areas or the cancerous areas and they fight and they, you know, deal with the situation or they begin the process along with the body's natural. Well, I mean, they were the body's natural along with the ones that are already in the body. Mm -hmm. They help with the process and they strengthen the immune system into a point where we can uh, modify the uh, cancerous (laughs) cells to, you know, stop that overgrowth. Whoa. And pretty much nullify them. I mean, they're still in, like, trials and testing. Um, Now, that's the good part of it. The good bad part of it, uh... (sighs) People, people, not everybody reacted good to it. Because at the same time, even though you're taking things out of the body and reinserting it, uh, the immune system sometimes still reacts to it. So, you know, same thing with, like, people get body transplants or, like... Body transplants? Not body transplants. <laughs> it's like, wait, what do you mean? Organ man? transplants. It's like, wait, no, there's body transplants? I'm trying to get that. Why did you <laughs> tell me, nigga? You stingy. <laughs> Organ transplants, and sometimes the body will reject the organ because, you know, it's a foreign object. Sometimes the body will treat those T cells, even though they're from the body, they've been modified as foreign objects, and the body reacts in a bad way, and people will, situations get worse. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like a hit or miss what they're doing right now. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah so Oops. maybe it'll work and then maybe also, it won't no. they still trying to like perfect it but oh. these people are out here like they're like well fuck it i got cancer either gonna <laughs> help me or i'm gonna die anyway so i mean i guess that's a logical thought process i can't i mean because i mean it killed the process killed two people well look at that but then it also saved two people, so they're like kind of they're like we don't know. Six in one hand, half a devil in another. So, CRISPR, you know, roll the dice and see how it goes. But you know, China was over there fucking with CRISPR too, so and that's how they might have CRISPR out there. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> they went fucking around with CRISPR, and they was like, uh shit, this fucking nigga virus. looking in the peachy disc like, what the fuck is this new shit? Right, <laughs> Lee, shit get over out. here. <laughs> What the and fuck a league goofy shit, ass man. touched it. Yeah, look at the feet sneezed or some weird and shit. Now we're sick. Now we're sick. <laughs> right, he sneezed on it. He's like, sneezed. where'd it go? He's Where's that? Cut them out so ferociously in Chinese and Mandarin. <laughs> no, I hit you with the Homer Simpson and the coronavirus is like on the back of his shirt and he walk out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Lee with the and now China has coronavirus like asshole. And we can't solve it because we just found out what it was. That's so hilarious. we don't know how to fix this. We never got a chance to find out how to fix it. Because we didn't know it was going to kill people. <laughs> uh, thanks to fucking Lee. And now it's just out here. We're trying to fix it on the fly. Lonely Chinese, man. <laughs> yeah, you got to fix it on the fly. That's the only way to fix it. And now on top of having coronavirus, they got a new bird flu. China's just going through it. I'm mad that it's a new bird flu. It's It's a different variation on bird flu. But... Ugh, like Earth is so fucking nasty. Did we cure the other one, or did it just disappear? It evolved. Ah, oh, bet. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, <laughs> it's the same reason why people have to get flu vaccinations every year. No, you don't. Well, maybe it's just me because I don't get sick. Maybe I shouldn't tell y'all that. But yeah, oh, well, yeah. Some people just don't get sick. Also, I. But like the people that get flu, it's like um the flu virus. The reason or no. Fuck the flu virus. The cold virus. That's a better example. Because the cold virus, the reason the cold does not have a cure is because the cold virus is never the same. No matter which person has it. So if you have the cold virus and you give it to me, it has evolved at that point in a different situation with me. Mm -hmm. So the cold itself is just like a forever evolving virus. That that makes sense. You can't and it make evolves love to out of the, the situation. Way you make love to Lisa. I mean, yeah. So that's why the code is evolving. Yeah, it's it's like it, forever it's just on the fly, a whole different way. It's like, yeah. oh, look at this energy over here. Right, and it's like okay, here, so energy. it was like oh, I use this to get rid of it. Oh, you use that. Um, and then the disco music. Now I'm starts. immune to that. You gotta try something else. 
This what work for you weird. don't work for me. <laughs> then the disco music. Oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad I said who. Like, like I wasn't the one just having this whole ass. Like, yeah, this whole conversation <laughs> is disco music. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know the coronavirus is funky. Yeah. It's <laughs> giving it a it's, real nice. It's not a job turkey. <laughs> not at all. At all. Bell bottoms and platform shoes with the goldfish in the middle. Okay, so uh, two disaster type things, I guess. Uh, You're a disaster, but continue. So over the last like the month or so, I've been seeing all these stories about asteroids and stuff. I've been pretty much ignoring them because at NASA be on NASA be on their little. Oh my God! There's asteroids flying at us. Well, asteroids Every are fucking five seconds. That's all yeah, I was about to say like, there are always okay. asteroids flying at and us, and they always about to hit us. Like, yeah, so my I'm nigga, like, I've been at this 29 years, right, and they so ain't not a fucking asteroid. Let me know hit. when y'all know that bitch coming at me. <laughs> yeah, like breaking news, like breaking news. Right, so hit at but it just uh, this one's supposed to be extra really close. It's uh, it's supposed to pass. It's like February 15th, mm-hmm. and they're really only talking about it because it's big enough that if it hits us, that it would be a bigger disaster than the meteor that, or the asteroid that hit the fucking dinosaurs in the Yucatan. Okay. Um, it'd be some equivalent to like Yellowstone, which I'm about to talk about. Mm. Um, but yeah, where do they think it's gonna hit? They don't know. They never know. Like fuck these asteroids. At they this can't point. do the math. Oh, God. <laughs> well, and time. because realistically, it's probably not going to pass close enough for us to care. But why don't we just do the math of our right, how fast we believe it's moving, how fast the Earth is spinning? They know how fast it's ain't moving. Ain't no asteroid right, about so to if hit Earth. You know how Earth. fast it's moving. God damn it! And you know how fast it's spinning. Uh huh. Why can't you calculate? They can. They just didn't tell me. Okay. Them nigga, I'm telling y'all, ain't no asteroid about to hit us. We've been on this. Oh, no, I don't think that the asteroid's going to hit us. Yeah, I don't think it's going to hit us. I just think that they just I wanted tripping. to know that in the eventuality that it did hit us, it's Cleveland a cool place for rich stuff. No. <laughs> it, 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 like, this, the size of this asteroid doesn't matter where the fuck it hit us. The world's going to feel this. But no, will I be alive? I don't care if I feel it, but I want to live. There's, there's, so if I'm on the opposite side of the world, I could live. Uh, that's a possibility. You see, you see how if I'm next to it, I won't though. That's oh why no, I, no, you no. See why I ask? No, if you're on a continent, you probably you won't. See how I ask? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to the ocean. That's why I ask where it's gonna be at. If it hit the ocean, the world's done. It right. never will. My daughter gonna be telling me like, "Yeah, mom. When as soon as I'm dead, like, yeah, mom. Ain't shit down here happening for real. <laughs> we got a new cereal. <laughs> I got the best GMOs thanks to your legacy that you left me." All right. <laughs> you are welcome. Like, <laughs> I got the best GMOs. Yeah, like I'm about to leave my girl with the best GMOs. Um, so scientists are back at it arguing about Yellowstone again. Okay. Um, because the argument they've been having for like the last year is that Yellowstone is overdue. Now, the numbers, when it comes to the years, uh, some people are saying Yellowstone pops off like every 600,000. And uh, at this point, we'd be at 600,000 for, no, 640,000 years since, right? Which would make it overdue. And then you got other scientists is like, no, nah, that's wrong. It's not due for another 70,000 years because y'all did y'all numbers wrong and it's due every 700,000 years. So they in this little entanglement going about and in the midst of all this, they explained how we would know or the warning signs that would happen if Yellowstone decided it was overdue and it decided it wanted to go up. Um, It's under Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, so that's like you know, three states. Yeah, uh, Yellowstone National Park. Um, the ground would like rise because mm-hmm. of the magma coming up, which is something that happened to uh St. Helens in Washington when that was about to go off. St. Helens rose five feet every day before it uh went off. Yellowstone would literally rise about ten feet. And everything will start cracking. Uh, earthquakes will start going off. 
and within a 60 mile radius and they would have to evacuate that and then eventually they have to evacuate up to 200 miles for people to survive the initial blast and um Yellowstone going off will be a cataclysmic event and previously thought to be only like North America it'd be like a world event in a sense because of how fucking big it is Mm. yeah so you know maybe like maybe it will in our lifetime maybe it won't they don't know Uh, just keep prolonging it that's all right no one knows it's gonna be a surprise because realistically like let's say if yellowstone went off like at this moment right now we would feel it but they would already had the warning signs that was going off so we would know it was going to happen but you know i think all the like the volcanoes and shit just going to erupt when it's time for us to go if all the volcanoes erupted at once this part will fall the fuck apart yeah that'd be not because we got super volcano cool like idea you got the ring of fire out in the pacific that's yeah. just an island, a ring of island of volcanoes. Oh, and then yeah. you got all the multiple volcanoes just like dotted across the l- continents. And then you got the underwater volcanoes. That's crazy. And then you have fucking like super volcanoes like Yellowstone. Yeah. And like the Hawaiian Islands are. Because ain't they connected? Like, you said what? Are they connected? What? Which ones? Volcanoes. Like all of them. No. No? Okay. In my mind. Because, like, the plates, the way the continental plates are everything, like, continental plates aren't connected. They just dive and dip and whatnot. And volcanoes are just, like, on the crust. They're just a spewing point for, like, like pimples. Yeah. In my mind, they were just all in a little string. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, you erupting today? No, yeah. it's essentially, like you said, they're like pimples. They're like the lava stream up to the land and uh, sprout the volcano or, like, and then... Because, like, mountains are created completely different than how volcanoes are created. Because mm-hmm. mountains are, like, continents crashing and pushing up land. Volcanoes are literally magma flowing up and creating a spout and then eventually pushing through. Yeah. So if all the volcanoes erupt, that would just change life as we know it. I don't know what you said. If all the volcanoes erupt, it would just change life as we know it? Essentially, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Because, I mean, all that magma, one, would create so much new land. I mean, that's how islands form and things of that sense. So, land would be created. I got a new idea. I don't care about that anymore. I have a whole new idea. <laughs> so, what if the coronavirus makes this with this new bird flu and creates a zombie strain and we get the zombie apocalypse? Well, then we got this zombie apocalypse popping off. I've been trying to get this zombie apocalypse <laughs> forever. <laughs> It's wild that like I'm so into like not dying, but I'm also like really into having a zombie apocalypse. Like those seem very counterintuitive, but you know, <laughs> life is like that sometimes. I'm gonna send you some positive. <laughs> <laughs> you really she's really sitting there with her eyes closed. She was, <laughs> she was on. That don't make no fucking she's like, sense. Mm-hmm. Jacob, what? Give you some energy. I'm not trying to deal with like, the bodies coming this. after me. I know you really don't want this zombie apocalypse. Like, no, like, why can't it be another apocalypse? Oh my those god, are those I'm just are like wack. this salamander nigga. Dude. Those are so boring. Oh, I don't want to die. She wants a boring you. apocalypse. She's like, and I just want to be here. Then let the zombie eat you. <laughs> It'll be fine. You'll be done. No, she, she wants dumb. She wants to like, be here, no, though. I need somebody to come up behind me. I'm not about to. Just be like, yes, take me. I got a whole family to protect. That's stupid. <laughs> she gotta work for this. But I, yeah, I got also gotta work to survive, my nigga. What? I can't just live. Oh, coming for a world. I don't really have to be fit, fit, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> you want me to be responsible with how much food I'm eating? Uh, <laughs> the fuck. Oh, it yeah, plunges us back to the Stone Age essentially. <laughs> with a little bit of technology, we're Stone Age with technology. Slight technology until we ain't got that no more. <laughs> that sounds so exhausting. And then we're like Stone Age with just knowledge. Yeah. Gotta get some good knowledge. Yeah. Can you choose a different apocalypse though? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't understand. And that's, that's I mean, me aliens. And science. I would do an alien apocalypse. Oh, yeah. You said what? I would do an alien apocalypse. 
Why is that different than the zombie one? Right. Because realistically, I'm probably not going to be running from aliens too much. Zombies, like, I always got to be on my guard. I feel like me and aliens would get along pretty cool. Why do you think? Why do you think? What if it was like. They can talk, nigga, and I'm enlightened. What if it was like. <laughs> I'm mad that Mars you're such aliens. a human that you think that. You are you just special that enough? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that they gonna be that's cool with human you. type shit. Yeah, that's why I was like, I know that's why I said it. Like, like, <laughs> so, like I said, what if it's like Independence Day slash Attack on Mars type? Like, y'all don't know Attack on Mars aliens was goofy as shit. But they still was killing people. It's like we don't fuck with y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Assuming that you get like some violent ass alien, what if they cool as fuck? I mean, That's yeah. The assumption that you but get you, violent aliens. But you, but you always gotta have the flip side. I mean, fuck? think about it. Us as humanity took advantage of the people we thought were less than us. Mm-hmm. So I could assume a higher being would, you know, kind of just, hey, we look down on y'all. Y'all stupid. Mm. I just want to die. Like, like yeah, I don't want to deal with it. You know what? Fuck with. it. What is this elongated Death. shit for? Like, oh, I got to deal with all this. <sighs> like, can I go no with how the you wo- slice it. I just don't want it to be this long ass. You got to fight go for your survival. Can I go with the majority of like, population? Fuck is you? Hold on, man. Like, don't let me be one of the stragglers. <laughs> Out here just surviving to the end days. <laughs> yeah, like, go ahead, I guess. But I ain't seen another person in. 20 that sounds years. depressing <laughs> as fuck. Like, what am I gonna do here by myself? Ugh. At this point, it's just a process. So you don't want the uh, that one anime. I don't want what the one anime where they was just like in a little tank, the two chicks. Oh my god, no, that was so, so cute. So you don't want that though? No, nah, if I got another person, I guess that'd be okay. But I'm gonna be like. <laughs> So bad. When She's you ready to take herself. the cyanide pill? Cause I'm ready if you ready. Like I'm not gonna leave you here by yourself. Ain't nobody around here. You keep me random niggas. Like I'm gonna be with you until you don't want to be here no more. And I got the cyanide pill right here. But it was in the end. Like when you when you don't want to go. Yeah. Let me, like, let me know. And they would meet like they would meet random motherfuckers right randomly. And then they met those blob aliens. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not gonna leave you down here by yourself. I got compassion for your plight, but. You know, if you ready for this sign out pill, girl, we can damn sure pop it at the same time. You want to go first? Because I'm surely going to swallow this shit. <laughs> you can trust me. I'm mad that you were like, nah, but I'll die, though. <laughs> we'll be like, say less. <laughs> yeah, like, psh, you want me to do it first? Ain't I don't trust you. You seem a little scary. No, you can trust me because this is dumb. <laughs> nah, y'all adventuring. There was another adventure. It was just fucking machinery and random, like, weird life lessons about hope and death. Like, what the fuck? I mean, that's all there is when there's nothing. I mean, yeah. You got to extract meaning from what you can. Life becomes really, really just basic. But it's crazy because I'm definitely the blonde one. Like, I'm having fun. But, you know, when you're ready to go. (laughs) I'm super optimistic. But when you're ready to go. Super optimistic, because you know yeah. I'm already ready to go. So if I just happen to go, yeah, like, what? you know, turn up. Like <laughs> I gave you the opportunity to come with me. You can sit over there and be a sad sack, but I also have options. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real optimistic about our hopeless future. She had a whole song called Hopeless. Like <laughs> she did. <laughs> That's what made her great. <laughs> you gotta make the best of the shitty circumstances. That's where I could be at. But also, though, I'm not ready. I'm so ready to go. Fuck this bullshit. <laughs> oh, on this um, topic of time travel, if you like time travel anime, you might like Steins Gate. It mm-hmm. makes sense in like terms of like animes or just shows that like deal with time travel. Most like fuck up or somewhere where there's like a paradox. It's like mm, if this happened, how yeah. did this happen? This one, from what I can tell avoids all of that and there's no like real paradox like all of it makes sense mm-hmm. and it's really good like it deals with time it's it's really good it's called Steins Gate but yeah that was random time travel just really trips me up every movie I watch about it what have they ever seen Predestination that's a really trippy familiar. one it's what and y'all know actor names but uh Ethan Hawke was in there he was in Lord of War the mm. nigga that was trying to put away Tom Cruise uh, uh, yeah 
they did a they did a pretty good job where i was fucked up after that one <laughs> i stopped watching dark because i'm like this is a little much <laughs> too much yeah your name saved it because they had a cool little romantic story in there and i watched it to the end but still i'd be like yo what and that's why i was like maybe if i'd read about it i understand it more but i feel like i'm not about about to <laughs> i'm gonna leave it no, this explains it pretty well what steins gate explains time travel pretty well oh, okay like i would like like i said like i've seen some where i've been like i don't this was a lot and i <laughs> really hate like time travel anime where people mm. come from the past or or they like try to manipulate timelines mm. that shit is like immediately tony's not watching this so the <laughs> fact that i like finished and like love steins gate was really surprising i'm like oh this is good and, like good good okay it's yeah. just perplexing like what the fuck is going on yeah why that, are we here now <laughs> that should be confusing well yeah like when they <clears> just <throat> tom jump and then switch and then oh my goodness see i think the thing that makes steins gate palatable is the main character okuba he's discovering time travel just like you are as the like the watcher of the show Oh, okay and so he's ex- explaining what's happening as the best he understands it as you're seeing it because he's trying to ex- rationalize what's going on to himself so mm. you get the understanding of what's going on through his eyes and so that i guess that is what helped me where i've seen a lot of shows where they don't really explain how this time travel thing became a thing <laughs> it is just it a just thing, was a thing. <laughs> And in this yeah, like in your name, they just didn't explain it. Shit was just happening. Like, yeah, no, he <laughs> created chill. time travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this one, Okuba creates time travel, like mm-hmm. him and his little like team. Mm-hmm. And so then they, on accident, then they try to figure out like, well, what the fuck are we doing? And then mm-hmm. that's what happens. And so they explain it because they're trying to figure out what just happened. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I hate the ones where it's just like, oh, well, and there's time travel, but I don't understand anything. How, why is this happening? Yeah, like in Dark, they go through this labyrinth where they come out the other end and they don't really know where they're going. Like the one time the young teenage boy goes, no, his father is time traveling. He didn't tell nobody that he was time traveling. Oh, wait, okay. So the <laughs> the little boys go missing mm-hmm. and it's been happening for like since 1953. It's 1983 when the next boys go missing. And then it's 2019 or 18 when the other boy goes missing. So um, they, so yeah, so why are you in the labyrinth? The, the, the youngest boy that's just missing now in 2018 goes back to 1983. The first boy is missing. But Jonas goes through the, the labyrinth and goes back to 1983. Well, his uncle goes to 1953 and i'm like well what's the point of the labyrinth like was it the direction that they went because i think they went in the same direction i'm just like well, why why is nobody explaining why he went to a different time point and this other one to personal time point and i'm pretty sure they went the same way in the labyrinth didn't they <laughs> yeah see no i wouldn't like that, that shit pissed yeah, me no. off that's why i stopped watching i'm like you can't just be doing shit not explaining <laughs> to my dumb ass what the fuck is going on I need some explanation. I need some context. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, let me map it out. Maybe it's like a different turn in the labyrinth that they go in, and that dictates what time, what point in time you're going in. Because it was completely random. It wasn't like he was like, oh, I'm going to 1983. <laughs> 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 just let it there. So I just, yeah, it's been perplexing. And, mm. Okay. Shout out to Shine Travel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But was that else? What else did you have for science? Oh no, science is done. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, I was done. No, I was done after. Uh, you know. <coughs> oh, All right. No. So, so uh, Marcus is having technical difficulties, as y'all can hear. Yeah, because I, I decided I was fake. Shout out to technical difficulties. Right, there <laughs> we go. I had to. I had to make space. There you go. <coughs> I was gonna steal snakes. So, my first one that I want to talk about is Oprah versus Monique. Okay. Did y'all hear about this? Mm. No. Wait, I feel like I did. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, Oprah explain. and Monique. 
Okay, so no, no, I was thinking about something else with Oprah. So have y'all uh, did y'all know that Oprah and Monique kind of have like, I guess tension, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Okay. So Monique pins an open letter to Monique about well, not Monique. Well, Monique didn't pin an open letter to herself. That would be wild. Hey, I'm gonna write myself a letter, and I want all of y'all to read it. <laughs> That's so like that's like a corny self love thing. Write yourself a letter about why you love yourself. Because <laughs> I know all right. the bitches have done it. Like I love me because <laughs> I'm sorry. Shout out to self love. I don't know. <laughs> really bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you shout out after saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shouting out everything now. Continue. Okay. Well, I'm trying to find a letter. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Here it is. <clears throat> Shit. Uh, uh, oh, of course. Yeah. So, basically, she's calling out Oprah in regards to like Oprah's current behavior. So it says, "Dear at Oprah, I felt compelled to write you this open letter after observing this disparity in the way that you seem to treat people. You were accused of the same allegations. Who were accused of the same allegations? You did an interview." Um, on the CBS Morning Show and were asked about Harvey Weinstein by Noah O'Donnell. And you said, as it pertained to him, that you always try to look at the rainbows and the clouds, whatever it is, whatever is the silver lining. You also said, if we make this all about Harvey Weinstein, then we have lost the moment. When you either are or we're going to be a part of Oh, that was crazy. Ass just popping up. It's rude. Anyway, when you are, are we going to be a part of the documentary on Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons? How is that not making it all about them? Interestingly, brother um, MJ was acquitted and deceased, so how is he not off limits? Russell and Harvey are accused of the same thing, so in fairness, how do you not support the accusers of both as you said you did with RS or you look for the silver lining for both like you said you did with HW? The only difference between the two is their skin color and doesn't HW have way more accusers? My personal experience with you is you've watched me as a black woman be accused of being difficult for not promoting Precious internationally for Lionsgate at Lionsgate. Tyler Perry and your request despite the fact my deal was with Lee Daniels Entertainment. And how are you for black women when you hear Tyler Perry on audio saying, I was right and he was going to speak out, but you, but neither you or him still haven't said a word. When I was 16 and I met you at your local show in Baltimore, I told you I wanted to be just like you when I grew up and you responded, you have to work really, really hard. My 16 year old self did know that you and your silence in the face of wrongdoing would make my life harder. Lastly, please consider the standing consider standing by the people who are right and not just the right people. Love you to life, Monique. So yeah, basically called her out for like how she's kind of made it the thing to attack any black man that has any semblance of a legacy and status. And I could lump the Gail King thing in this with her in with this situation because that's like her right hand woman and so for her to bring up and like do the thing or say the thing she said about Kobe don't surprise me because it seems like this is the type of uh, situation that's going on right now not even that just the type of people that they've decided to be mm-hmm. or to present themselves as because I can't say who they are, because I don't know them. But from what I see, these are the things that you're doing. Right. So, I don't even. So, what do y'all think about that? I don't think Oprah has ever been like pro black dude, has she? It's always been like. I feel like I don't know if I ever I see mean, her promoting family like. It's possible I, I, that she was never really, but people just assume she was. Hmm. I mean, she did things like color purple and things there since. 
Yeah, I don't think she really like pro pro niggas her. anyway, because subconsciously like you said to do the color purple i get it like men can be monsters or people can be monsters in general but Mm -hmm. the color purple to me i've never seen it just because of that simple fact that i just don't like seeing men being like that towards women i've never been an advocate for seeing like Mm -hmm. violence towards women in that way it's always possible that's been the case but then at the same time she does all the work in africa and things like that so people just assume that (coughs) could just assume that she's been that way and then she was never was she just went along with it because you know whatever i'm gonna say just from watching women just because you help people don't mean you don't have no subconscious things against mm-hmm. like the opposite sex i mean that's also true yeah like she could be doing like i read this book called trauma versus recovery where like you have two people who deal with how they feel about themselves in two different ways like i mean she was traumatized by the opposite sex yeah and this is the two ways that people reconcile that mm-hmm. you either someone told you it was bad so now all you do is prove, yeah, I'm bad. So I'm just going to do bad shit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be this wild person because I'm bad because I believe that at my core. Someone told me as a child, I believed it. That's what we're going to be. Or you got the opposite where, like, people are always trying to do good and follow these morals. And I thought this is what I was supposed to do because they really believe it inside themselves. But mm-hmm. every action that they do is trying to prove that it's not that. Right. So she's probably the other part, <laughs> you know. I think I do all these things, but really she got like some jilted ass things against black men. And it clearly shows, you know. I don't think her husband, like, uh, her, her, is her oh, husband. She's like never a, been married. That's oh, she never married. See, she never married Stedman. <laughs> like, come on, I should show you how you feel right Stedman's there. Stedman's a center, like a trophy wife. See how she treat her man? Like, is it really new that Oprah really doesn't feel this way about black men? She's been doing it all her life, so. I mean, I just think that it's interesting that. I don't think that I've never looked at Oprah as like a champion for like black men. Mm. But when you can sit on TV and be like, oh, for Harvey Weinstein, I'm looking for the rainbows and clouds and silver linings. That's creepy. And then I'll. So you don't really give a fuck about women either, though. <clears throat> you don't give a fuck about black women. Well, how could you? You just have a vendetta against black men. Mm hmm. So you don't. So it's fuck everybody else for real too but it's i'm gonna do things out of my way to hurt y'all but i'm not gonna care about the rest of y'all the rest of y'all can be fucked over hurt and damaged and that has nothing to do with me but these men they have to be punished because they remind me of the man that hurt me mm-hmm. and that's what that seems like to me and that's that's central up. like you have a lot of power and position and to use it that way is dangerous yeah and she knows just if you got like if you had somebody like me that was a single black mom, I could have chose to be angry. All the black men in my life that did me wrong. But I'm like, for what for what exact reason am I sitting here being mad? That's not really showing my daughter like, yeah, you're going to come across some people that don't really have your best interests at heart or whatever the case may be. But that's people. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're going to come across those people. I hope I've prepared you enough in the world to deal with that. But for wow. me to sit there and keep actively wondering, even if. Even if I didn't have this level of curiosity, I don't think I'm the type of person to be angry all the time. Or, yeah, I just don't think I have it in me to be that kind of angry all the time. That's just draining. Yeah, like, damn. like oof. It really like, is. To be mad all the time is tiresome. So. And then, like, you just, like, how could you not see your world? I'm I'm pretty sure money helps her out in a lot of fucking ways, but. I mean, it removes her from the shit. So, whatever. Her world is literally whatever she built around her. Having right. that much money. So, you're not, like, really connected to what people are really dealing with. It's whatever you created around you. So, she don't even she get church. to see. Yeah, she has a trophy husband. That opportunity to, like, make like herself a, better. Or not, my bad trophy boyfriend or whatever fuck whatever the fuck that shit is (laughs) live in man i don't know yeah it's a live in man that shit has to be just the strangest thing like i get tired of the routine that i be doing for five minutes and the fact that that nigga just stayed like that just proves like what y'all be saying men get comfortable i think that's why oh go ahead like men get comfortable and I mean, he probably really ain't got to do shit for real. Yeah, but just be there. Like, I have this thing with me. <laughs> you don't want to see it? I mean, she got so much goddamn money. It's like, she, she 
Does that mean you do what I could want? You what if Oprah really a lesbian? Like, Fuck it. She probably is real. Cause like, how you not married this nigga? Like, no, no one married like, each That's other. what I said. Like, he's just like a stand piece, and I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, like, she probably, she probably be probably gal is, out. Like, she probably she be. just like he just here is like a stand in, just so y'all just leave her the fuck alone. Yeah, let me be with a lesbian that I'm meant to be. She probably be man. She be tearing Gail's box up. <laughs> Hell no. That is so nasty. No one wants to talk about how you be tearing Gail's box. Nah, yeah. Come on, they in cahoots. They don't like black men, so who else so, they gonna like? You wanna know what Gail said in response to this? What? So this was this how she tried to, this how she tried to work this though, right? She gonna say something. I am so mortified and terrified and like horrified with her what what is it, network C B S? Mm-hmm. Like because they took clips and they posted just the clips of me saying that. And took it completely out of context. And if you saw the whole interview, you would have understood it would have made sense. And I'm like, regardless of <laughs> them just like clipping that part out and putting it up there. You still said it. Yes, said it. It wasn't a problem that it was like singled out and it was out of context. It's the fact that you brought it up and said it. Yeah, she be talking about that motherfucker. I think, you, I think you missed why people were mad at you. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Right oh, over your head. But now I remember the point I was going to say. <laughs> I feel like this this right here illustrates how my belief that money is equivalent to being a god in this like plan of existence in reality. Oprah is rich enough to the point that she can manipulate other people's lives and never has to feel any other repercussions of it. Nope. Her whole environment is everything that she's decided. I mean, like you said, she never has an opportunity to grow, but that's because she's decided not to. Right. She decided that I am in my ultimate form and this is where I'm going to stay. And I'm going to reach out and touch other people's lives when I want to. And then when I don't, I won't. And that's. And realistically, her reaching out and touching people's lives probably is nothing off of her shoulder. Yeah. And she can make them better or worse. Mm hmm. And so for me, it's like, that's pretty much what a guy can do. God comes in, and regardless of how you feel about the situation, is going to do all of these things. Mm-hmm. And you just got to rock with it or not. I yeah. Mean, regardless, you you just with it. And money provides that level of power in this reality. And that's, that's fact in that. So I, that's also why I believe, like. Hell, Bill Gates just gave $100 million to research <laughs> the coronavirus. <laughs> Even then, money just be like, it's like a flimsy concept. He could have just been like, wrote it on paper, here's uh-huh. $100 million, and then $100 million credits just appeared in someone's account. Like, it, it, it has to be energy. Like, money is just energy. Like, if you know how to attract it towards you, then be about it. But if you don't, then, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's terrible. Good old Oprah. But yeah, no. I was going to talk about the coronavirus. Again? No, no. Yeah, that was going to be my other thing. But since we did that, we can move into this. Why you think men are toxic? Because you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't think men are toxic. I think the situation y'all was talking about was hella toxic. I don't know Sometimes about that. you have to move a woman away for the better men of No, what's song. the lyrics to the song? No, let's not take this out of context. Let's bring it back to the song. And then I want to hear y'all's thoughts on it I understand. I don't even remember the lyrics. I just know it has something to do with moving her somewhere. Look at that. We have the internet. We could just Google it. No, I, go Google the lyrics. I mean, you can go ahead and do that. I legit. I mean, I gotta put her somewhere I, no one can find. What you I mean? really and honestly sticks. don't remember the lyrics. Katie I never knew Texas. the lyrics to begin with. But you know, we can look them up real quick yeah. so we can comment on this. Because apparently, screen. we we just toxic out here. They said the song was toxic. I didn't even say nothing was toxic. They was like, yo, this is for toxic niggas. And I'm I like, was yeah, trying to make right. a point, and I was just toxic. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all said the song was toxic. Then y'all started agreeing with it, so don't that make... No, I didn't agree with the song. What I said was... What I said was, I would do that. That's, That's not agreeing. I'm just saying I would... I'm type of, I'll just put somebody somewhere on top. I didn't say I'd do it for the same reasons. What? 
<laughs> then exactly. I, said, I, I, I remember. Uh, the I song remember was stating, that this girl was a hoe. Yeah. And then y'all was like, "Yeah, I totally understand why you want to move your favorite hoe to Katy, Texas." And I'm like, "Oh, so like she's an object in your life. You really don't you care for this person, but you're not like deeply in love with this person." But I also understand I need to maybe to Katy, Texas, while I go do my thing. Look. Oh my god. No, I said <laughs> no. I I specifically said I'm pretty sure I remember stating. Oh yeah, this the key is you gotta get someone that wants to be in the middle of nowhere. Well, that he, was me talking. He did say that. Marcus he did, did say, say that. that. Exactly. I said mm, that's. He <laughs> said no. I'm just gonna. He put said my I gotta finesse to get this hoe in the middle of Wisconsin <laughs> or Katy, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't use Katy, Texas now because he done made the spot known. Hey, I know now, all the hoes hey, going to Katy, Texas. I lived in Texas for a couple of years. I know some. Six towns and cities in Texas are small as fuck. That the biggest thing is the Walmart and the mall that they have that is realistically a Sears, no, 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 a Macy's, a Dillard's, a Best Buy. You can shop till you drop, bitch. All Just don't cross that fucking line. With the little shops inside and a Lids uh, and then the food court. That's what the mall is. That's and the terrible. biggest attraction, movie theater. <clears throat> Bro, I'll put sh- nigga. Stop playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Go ahead, Ash. Read the lyrics that you wanted them to be pulled up. Yep. I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas. Dallas, Texas. You know, a different environment. Because you got. Pause, no. pause. Let me, <laughs> no, let, no, let, no. let me break it down. Not about to break it down. We got to break it down before we get You got to let me say the rest of this. Because you got desires. Because you got desires. Because you got desires. All right, I'm going to stop. Yeah. So, basically, I want to put you in a different environment because I feel like that would be more conducive to your growth, <laughs> our growth. I feel like that would just be better for both of us. I feel like we'll be able to move into a much better space in a new environment. And what's wrong with new environments? Change and growth are some of the most basic things that you have to go through in life to become a, the person that you want to be. And so I'm just trying to inspire that and instill that in us. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I told you fucking oh, I was about to say you better not take this off. I just want y'all to know before we record this dude was a whole ass nigga. I understand you a hoe, but you can't go with me being on that hoe shit. <laughs> you can't. Said. You can't. You no, can't. but he wasn't like, I'm trying to inspire you to go. No, I really I just like using you for when I want to fucking chill with you. But I'm gonna go live my life while you and Katie Texas. It's not that I'm gonna go live my life. I am gonna go live my but life. But she can't go to the same clubs as you? No, I need you to be on here because clearly you like to go to the clubs and you like why am I always seeing you on Snapchat in the clubs when I'm out here working? And yeah, I live in a fast-paced city, but that's because the fast-paced city also is connected to the lifestyle and the business and the industry that I'm in. So I need to be here. You don't need to be in the clubs. What are you doing? I should have put you somewhere no one can find. How are you supporting this sticks. one hoe? Y'all claim that pussy don't mean anything, but that one hoe... Girl, I'm going to put you where they got the dillards and the lids and everything. Yeah, you just kick it right Get the fuck out of here. You're right. Y'all, that's trifling. Pussy don't mean nothing, but that one pussy means everything. Get the fuck out of my face. No, I'm going to put like five in different states. What are you talking about? Why is it? (sighs) This is clearly not healthy. (laughs) Like, I'm sure that Drake and Future aren't talking about just literally one girl. They're just saying that this one got to go here. There's like an ones. object. What does that? It's not an object. Just you objectifying it. Oh my god! You need no. to move where I want you to move, I was so just I can feel. In conversation. Oh my <laughs> no. god! This is like an object. I need you to move where I want you to move and do what the I fuck I want you to you do. Because I removed all those, those things that, that I like said. about you. He, those aren't the things that he said. He asked. I'm not talking said, about okay. what the things he said. I'm talking about the shit that you guys <laughs> said. Yeah, what? That she had to move. I don't even remember half. You don't have. She don't have to move. But when she get in that spot, the fact that y'all had these. Thoughts and think that it's okay. What? I didn't have you love thought. her because Drake she a hoe. Thought. As Future soon as she stop thought. being a hoe, y'all gonna be like, "What is the point of this? You're not doing the whole shit that I really like you doing." That's not true. No, yes, no, it no, is. No, 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 no. I don't love her because she's a hoe. Not at all. So what was what? the point of you getting with her? Like, I love the whole shit that you're doing. Look at that whole shit. Look at her. She wearing a skimpy ass dress. She doing all the whole guess shit what? I want to do. Guess what? Guess she what? She get a sloppy best. Nah, we got her taking yeah, no, these no, no, back no. shots like here. a hoe. <laughs> okay, well, fine. Now she's my hoe over here to myself. She can't be nobody else's hoe. She my hoe. <laughs> Y'all you happy real? now? That's no. what you wanted? That's what you wanted? It's like this pillow. This is my pillow. Want? No, see, for this me, it's not even that's, like That's what you wanted? It's like, I feel like. 
what you doing over there you might as well just be doing over here when i see you <laughs> and but you eliminated all her wholeness like all the things that she go be yeah, in the clubs so, yeah, she can't that. do it in katie texas no more you no no to. see the thing is she don't need to do it in katie texas no more because she learned all that already yeah why, why are y'all giving these why does she need to why be, why are y'all giving these responsibilities to hoes that's what i'm trying to figure I'm not out giving her responsibilities you clearly are no. like you taking her out like now she got to be this bitch no, that no, just no, said no. no she don't she you don't have to be anything realistically there's just nothing for you to go do you can go to the, the club that's popping and is lit <laughs> in the, katie texas in katie texas is the motherfucking rodeo you go motherfucking square dance bitch bet <laughs> There ain't no ass shaking there. Go ahead. Get your square ass over there and do the square dance. Yeah, because that's what's going to be happening in fucking Katy, Texas. So, no, it's not that she can't go out. It's just I don't really think that. And you I put ultimately her in have mood, control over her environment like no, an object. No, she willingly moved to Katy, Texas. You put her you know in what? an here. environment that you told her was, no. you know, this conducive for your growth. Right. She agreed. And she agreed. Yeah, maybe yeah. you're right. But she you agreed. already had the intent and before then. Like, no, she here, here's the key thing, though. If she doesn't agree, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm on to I'm my not own business. Her. I'm not forcing you to I'm do this. But once she do what you tell her to do, you can get her to do anything That's else That's not my that. fault. That's I didn't totally make you do it. Fuck. You had the complete option, but like, no, I'm good. So what but, you're saying is women don't have the mental capacity to make decisions for themselves. They do have the mental capacity for okay. themselves. But just like I sit in front of this TV and I'm not aware of mind control, I'm being mind control. Duh. <laughs> Y'all weird. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand none of this. Uh, all I know is what's wrong with sending someone to Katy, Texas? <laughs> And I the only reason I can't that. use into Katy, Texas is because I refuse to give up any of the names of the other places that I know. Because <laughs> I got a couple little little chairs, I, <laughs> a little place I can send you. <laughs> Stop playing. AW motherfucking population 2000. Mm. Nah, there's going to be lights and everything. You're going to be able to go <laughs> get tattoos. It'll be food. Yeah, it'd be lit. <laughs> it's like taking a fucking lion and putting it in the zoo. Like, come here, lion. Like, you gonna have all the meat. Like, you don't even gotta go out there and hunt it no more. Like, what are you talking about, lion? Yeah. You just gotta stay in these confined sure. walls that I've built no, for you. No, it's not like that. That's it's terrible. exactly it's like not that. that. Like, like, lions are dope. <laughs> oh, man. Like, it's not like that at all. And lions are cool. Ways, lions are dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt. I can't do this anymore. I fuck with lions. <laughs> yeah, lions are hella dope. What are you talking about? Like That's taking what y'all do. I do that to a lion? Yeah. What? Taking a lion out of its natural habitat. That's crazy. And putting it in a zoo has no benefit for the lion. But her, you didn't spit all, all this stuff to the lion. Like, hey, lion, no, come but that, No, no, but for her, she could really, like, go to the community college out there get her associate's Who degree in accounting. wants to go to community college when I could go to UCLA? Like, she can't go Unless to UCLA. Unless you convinced her. Who's paying that for that? Community college was the Who's best way to go. Who's paying for UCLA? But I'm comparing it to you didn't took her out the city, right? I'm not paying for UCLA, though. <laughs> <laughs> because UCLA got LA problems. I'm not paying for LA problems. But I, my point is, you took her out of a main city. Yes. <laughs> she had the opportunity to go to UCLA. No, she didn't. And even if she wanted to go, but now you was like, "Yeah, go to Katy, Texas Community College." Now the chick that was in the club every night that I feel like I need to move out of the city is not also the chick that goes to UCLA. I want to make that (laughs) one thing very clear. Put that out here real quick. Put that out here. (laughs) Those are if that was the case, she probably wouldn't be here. To prove my point, you took away those options. It gave she her never a had lesser option. option. Is what he's saying? Yeah, no, that wasn't even an option. I'm saying I'm dealing with reality. She wasn't, that wasn't an option in her mind. She was looking for exactly what that I mean, nigga was doing. If I had to doing. choose between going to Katy Community College and L.A. Community College, I'm going to choose L.A. Community College, See, this bud. is the problem, man. Yeah, because you're trying to have these L.A. problems, and I'm not <laughs> dealing with that. You, make, a, that you make sensible decisions. <laughs> <laughs> that's what but I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Y'all choose these objects that y'all know. Most likely, this bitch going to do what I wanted to do. So the intent there, She's stop. Not an object. The intent there is already there. Like you already know, bitch, you can do not this. Object. Object. Why she she object? is an object. She's a gang that? piece for you. She's not. And then you got five different one of them. Like okay, that's cool that y'all do that. But acknowledge it for what it is. These bitches are here for your entertainment, not because I want to share and I just want to get you to grow. Like, no, you want these no, bitches to suck I, your I, dick on command when they, you in Katy, Texas. 
No, I don't. Not on command. That's weird. I Whatever. To she is there she for you. Like, you. I know my bitch in Katy, Texas. I know my bitch in fucking Milwaukee. Like, when you go there, there's an intent. Like, I'm fucking with my bitch in Milwaukee today. And then when I leave, I'm leaving. There is nothing there that that girl, there is nothing self-service to that girl other than most likely you taking care of her bills. But you taking care of her bills so she could be there at your convenience. I mean, and objects. She ain't got nothing else to worry about ever again in life. She you know what else I don't have nothing else to worry about? about? Objects. Cool. This couch ain't really got to worry about being moved till it's moved. <laughs> I, hey, she ain't complaining. And it's here for what I'm sitting on. The, the couch can't complain. All I know is <laughs> that I think that Katie Texas might be better for her growth as a person. This nigga and is the... It might give her a new perspective because she's probably lived her entire life in one city. And so living in a new city will give you a new perspective on how life is conducted just because different people live life differently. And you're so accustomed to the way that life operates in your city and where you're from that just this new perspective that alone is going to give you growth. It's going to probably make you more emotionally intelligent, more perceptive, more observant able to adapt to new situations a lot better so i just think that it's a better way <laughs> it's not like a politician i fucking hate you in these big ass words and he really sat here i just really think like oh my god i can't wait till we start recording wow. I hate you so much. he really sat there and tried to hit me with the because you he had to force the bullshit out to make sense it to was, everybody it was That's no cool. bullshit so yeah, none of that makes sense good. That's not logical. Tell me okay. that's not logical. You know that it's don't... not logical. And can't nobody argue with you on that. And that's why you really sat there and planned that whole little bush and ass thing It out. is logical. It's very logical. Yeah, can't nobody argue with that logic? Who am I? But I also know that that's bullshit it's that not. you just came up with. It's not bullshit. No, you came up with bullshit in the, in the age you to look like the good guy. Wow. I'm trying to get so you, you think to that elevate I was your able, mind, girl. So you think that I was able to just come up with that, like, paragraph of bullshit in seconds? Yes. Because you was making up as you go along. The paradox so you, so of whatever. So I'm just this good to just be making it up. Because you practice time. arguing with people. He know how to be quick now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're arguing. talking about. That sounds like I've somebody. never practiced arguing. Oh, I've seen it. I was like, Tony, just stop talking. She tripping. Just, just let it go. Just, you, 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 you letting too much out. Just let it go. <laughs> I had to talk to Messiah. <laughs> That's future crazy. out here telling the truth. Yeah. Let people know. Future, you need to shut up too. <laughs> y'all sick. What? <laughs> I don't want to talk Gosh, about man. it. Though. Y'all sick. What are you talking about? He's terribly sick. Man, but see, look at If you don't move her, look what happens in verse three. Because you dealing with a hoe. Oh, my fucking voice getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell she me those lies? Much. Oh, why See, would you make it so bold talking. to my face? Why are your stories all over the place? Because she a hoe. That's what hoes do. <laughs> well, a lot of secret friends don't keep safe. Where did your friends all go? I can't solve your problems. You say your problems never need a solving. I was good to you. Should have stayed solid. Nice guys always finish off where they started. Deja vu, you wanted things and you got them. Deja vu, I wanted smoke and I got it. Yeah, what's wrong with that? So, see, if we stay in the city, this is how it's going to end. It's going to end in a very negative place. So you want to keep this bitch from Katy, Texas? I want to keep her. She's lying to you. No, no, no. She can't keep her story straight. Whole lot of secrets. This is what's going to be happening. It sounds like she has already done it. (laughs) She might have been, but see, look, he's saying I was good to you. Should have stayed silent. Nice guys always finish. But that's why he said I should have. Nice guy takes the bitch because he didn't hide her in Katy, Texas. So when I meet, that's how it got to verse three because he met her and then kept her in the fucking city. (laughs) Should have moved in Katy, Texas in the first place. Yeah, you see, that's how you get to verse three. Not moving the bitch to Katy, Texas. (laughs) (laughs) Verse three is about not moving her to Katy, Texas. This is a precautionary tale for nice guys everywhere. It is. Stop keeping your bitches in cities. (laughs) Yeah, big cities are bad. Like she got desires. Like what did he say? Because Drake say some shit. He said, hey, self-control. self-control has never been her thing. So he, if she I, don't got no self-control, why would I not, as the man in your life and the person that you were probably looking to lead you, because I'm supposed to be filling that position in your life as a man, 
That's what you be saying all these other times, so I don't think that you should contradict now. But anyway, so if I'm the man in your life, I'm trying to lead you, and I recognize that this is a weakness for you, why wouldn't I want to try and help you and build you in that area? Why are you as a leader pick weak, link, weak links like this? Let me know that right now. How I, can't see that the, I can't see you as weak right now, but the potential in the future? <laughs> no, I'm not choosing nobody weak. What the fuck? I can't see the potential in you. You might be weak right now, but potential. you might be a diamond tomorrow. Oh, my God. <clears throat> <laughs> So yeah, this is all the reason. You, sometimes you pass up on things, man. Yeah, you and you wish you didn't. Yeah, why well, you? You can't just overlook someone if they got potential and willing to learn, like moving to Katy, Texas, and <laughs> 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 they're willing to learn. Yeah, they got potential. Yeah, you got. Like you what? You tr you trying to move? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got potential. I yeah, like you. <laughs> that's, that's a real potential right there. I love y'all so See much. Y'all know you this is all bullshit. And I hate y'all so much for trying to defend this corny ass. Weird. Like, that's so weird. Like, ugh. No, I'm good. I'm good. Y'all can never, choose it. You ain't never thought to haunt a nigga somewhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so gross. No. In my mind, it might be on some crazy shit. Like, where do you think you going? But never like, oh, I need to take yeah. this nigga and squander him in my cellar. <sighs> no, you just have but to like you said, like, it's just like the antithesis to no word Idaho, like, pussy fairy. Yeah, pussy fairy. That's hella toxic. Oh yeah, because and Janae I could never understand. Had that. a song that's basically the female version of this. Of that, yeah. like she mad as shit at this nigga for leaving the house. <laughs> <laughs> realistically, where are you going? What do you need besides me at this moment? <laughs> said friends, you don't. I'm your friend. <laughs> yeah, you don't need like. What do you really need? Who are you texting right now? I feel like women recognize after they get to that point that, oh, another bitch might feel like this about you. <laughs> nah. You make another bitch feel real. like this. This ain't about to work. We're not going to do this. <laughs> I, I already feel this way. So can't nobody, nobody else, else can do this shit. Uh, what are you doing? This is my feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fun. my God. So what are you? What? Huh? You giving compliments? Hmm. Let me go ahead and play station. You can. <laughs> <laughs> like, just weird shit like that. Yeah, so I get it. That's definitely not normal. It's not healthy at all. No, but it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's quite entertaining to be stuck in the middle of. Oh. Confused as a motherfucker. Like, what's happening? How did I get here? Who did this? Why they do this to me? That'd be the worst when that shit creep up on you. You'd be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> These feelings. Oh, my God. <laughs> This wasn't supposed to happen like this. Take them away. <laughs> I can't do this when all y'all trip it. But that's all I had. So it's up to you, Ash, to take us home. It's my turn. Take us home, Ash. Oh, shit. Hey, I just got really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take us home, Ash. I'm not prepared now this time arguing with y'all about that goofy ass song. <laughs> Oh, the true. song that we were talking about is Desires by Drake and Future. But I definitely do agree with these niggas because she got desires. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my listen of the week. <laughs> it should be. Bruh, it's going to be my listen of the week. And I've had this song. So it leaked maybe five days before it came out. So I've been listening to it since then. Like, oh, this is the most amazing toxic shit in the world. This is great. Because <laughs> at first, all the leak was was just Future's verse. Mm -hmm. And then another leak came out with Drake and Future's verse on it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, look at this. Look at y'all both getting into the bag. Yeah. I should have put you somewhere no one could find you. right. You were. <laughs> well, how'd she get found? <laughs> <laughs> Found you her. gotta ask, how did she get found? Yeah. You have completely gone off the deep end, my nigga. Who you let you so? out? <laughs> That's basically a cool saying. Who let who, you out? Who told you about her? <laughs> yeah, like, why did you? Free? Where'd I come from? Yeah, I don't want you to be free. <sighs> With other people who can just frog <laughs> you. I want you to be Robin, on the free to explore yourself. You can't explore yourself while niggas in your face. <laughs> that, that don't work. You need some alone time. That's why I can't spend all time with you in Katy, Texas. You got to be out there by yourself. 
Ash so bad. <laughs> yes, I am. Finding yourself, you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to facilitate you finding yourself. I'm going to keep that last part to myself. Hey, me coming to Ash? check on you. <laughs> <laughs> Edge, oh my God. I really don't like neither one of y'all at this point. That was a wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how we got here, but here we are. Hurry up, but bro, anyway. That was a wild shit. Because <laughs> we're talking about lies. What? Who lying? Who lying? I didn't tell him, not one. Right. Lie. And the first question. Who does a man truly love? The woman he lies to or the woman he tells the truth to? It depends. <sighs> That's complicated. It really <laughs> is. That's why I said it depends. Because like on what you think about that woman's fortitude. Yeah, and what uh what the what this is about. Yeah, like sometimes like I've been in a situation where I was like being super truthful <laughs> and definitely also was like, but no, nah, you the one, <laughs> but I will go tell you everything that's happening. Cause I want you to know that this, all of this don't mean shit. They not going to know none of the game. You going to know all of the game. Cause bro, none of this mean shit. Mm -hmm. But I've also been in situations where I was like, I can't tell you nothing. Cause it's, <laughs> if I tell you something, your whole world going to crumble. And all of this don't mean shit, but it's going to mean something to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can't tell you nothing. Yeah, so, so I've been like, in both situations. It's real situational. It's like depending on what's going on, who I'm talking to. And no matter what's going on, no matter how she can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be real honest with you. And I don't give a fuck what's going on. How is she going to react to said information? She gonna be crazy. She gonna take this on the chin. She gonna be crazy, and it's gonna be a whole situation. We gonna break up. What is this gonna be? Yeah, it's real mysterious. Oh, depends on the woman. I mean, for me, yeah. I don't know if that's for everybody. Most guys probably just said that they don't tell the woman. That they lie to the woman that they're uh, that they love, because they. I mean, I. So, being honest. Didn't net me the result that I wanted it to net me, so I could understand why guys just opt to lie to the women that they love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But. I just say fuck it and give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be honest with you. I'm not lying. I only I don't I don't lie to people I respect. I'll just say that. If I don't respect you, I'm lying to your ass. You're getting all these fucking lies. But if I respect you, I'm gonna tell you the truth. But I also know how to not give too much information away. So you better ask real specific questions <laughs> with me. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna lie to you. You want a specific answer, you ask specific Yeah, you, know, you ask a very specific question. You wanna know something specific? You better be careful because <laughs> I damn sure don't have to answer a question. I swear to your And ass. answer that one fucking answer, even though I know what you're saying. Because <laughs> sometimes you really don't be needing to know extra I'm gonna shit. Get, I'm going to go his way with that question. Oh, yeah, no, I'm like, very good at asking, answering only what you ask me. <laughs> yeah, if like, why am I volunteering right information from you? Yeah, right, you didn't I'm ask not, me the I'm right thing at all. Not at all. You didn't ask what you needed to hear. That's cool. I'm going to give you the exact <laughs> answer. I'm not volunteering <laughs> extra. Oh, Ash, know about that shit. Nah, nigga. You're not getting an extra one. <laughs> what you need to know right now is what exactly what you asked for. Yeah. I make it sound so nice. Like, psh, what? So you asked another day. How you feel about me? As friends? <laughs> 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 no, just in general. Nigga, we is cool, so cool. <laughs> good people. That's it. That's what you wanted to know. You didn't ask me where this was headed. You didn't ask shit else. No, I, I gave you answer what you asked me. Yeah. I'm not yeah. giving you more or less. No, Never more. For that. I, <laughs> people be, been, be so mad. I'm like, I'm not, I get it. Like, you mad because you didn't get the other part, but you necessarily didn't ask me the other part of that question. But and realistically, you, you don't ask. Question no, because they don't want to get their feelings hurt. So since <laughs> you're afraid to ask me what you really want to know, I'm not going to answer what I know you want to know. Yeah. I'm not a mind reader, but I am. <laughs> right. I know what you want, but I don't. Yeah, like what? 
okay. Yeah, like I'm just not doing this with you because no. <laughs> yeah, I see the fucking question. But nah, it has not for me. It has nothing to do with respect. Yeah. Like, I can respect you and lie to you. Oh yeah. No, I can't do it. Lying is a means to an end. Mm-hmm. The end. No, no, that was it. Lying is a means. To <laughs> lying for me is a tool, just like a wrench is a tool. Yeah, but I don't feel like I need to use that tool with people I respect. I'll uh. just we'll just get up somewhere else the other way. But I really just don't feel like lying to people that I really like admire and care for. I'm not. I just. I mean, I but that's because you have like a moral, right. you have a moral feeling about lying. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't, I don't place any context on the tool. It's like I wouldn't feel a way about using a wrench. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't feel a way about using a flathead when I know I need a Phillips. It's gonna get the job done. So just like I would use that tool in that situation, it's just a tool for me. So it. It has, has no indication of, like, how I, like, view you as a person. I just recognize that sometimes different levels of honesty is more appropriate for different people. That's true. But I don't look at that the people sense. that I don't respect as, like, you're a bad person and I don't need to give you this. No, they could be good people. I just don't like you. <laughs> so you about to get lied to. So. <laughs> I don't have nothing. It ain't even like about morals for me. It's about well, I've shown, I've seen your character, and I know who you are, and uh, you don't deserve, you don't deserve me giving that. Because I feel like truth is, is grounded in love. So if I don't want to give you love, truth to me, one of the aspects of love is truth. So I'm not giving you that type of love. I don't care. I, like I said, I tell people the truth all the time that I know they can take it. Even if they don't take it in that moment. You're not about to look at me like, oh, well, why didn't you warn me about this? Or why didn't you see about this situation? Like, I told you the truth. You chose to do what you, because I, I respect you. And I'm giving you an aspect of love to you. So I'm not going to lead you astray. So for me, lying, like you said, it is a tool that I use for people that don't really mean anything to me. I mean, I guess I could lie to lead you in the direction that I feel like is going to protect you the most. So I could. For me, like I said. But that's not really about more like them. That's more about you saying this is what you need to be safe from. Like how you was like, oh, why I mean, don't you believe? Not really. It's more or less like you just like guarding their feelings in a sense. It's not even necessarily. That like, helps you, though. So you don't get the drawback of their feelings. Not even, not even in that situation. Like, I don't necessarily have to lie to you to guard your feelings. Mm-hmm. I may lie to you because I know that telling you about a situation is going to make you react in a way that isn't conducive for what you're trying to do. And I know that this is, this would be an emotional trigger for you. So why enact that mo- emotional trigger when I know that that's not going to be the the area that I know that your rational mind is going to want to go to. But that's not your emotional triggers help you grow. So you denying that person their emotional triggers don't really help them grow at all cuz I get triggered by things that shows me where I need to work at to overcome it. So for you to just say like, oh, you won't be emotionally triggered. I mean, triggered. at the same time, it could it could be something that's not really helpful for the for that exact situation. Like, mm-hmm. not even if it's like, okay, I'm a lie to you right now, and I will tell you the truth later. But like right now, it's not it's not for whatever's going on. Like it, it could be a situational thing, even too. So it's like, <clears throat> what's going on right now? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, but like, like why did you just not tell them? Why do you have to lie? Like, why do you have to not tell the truth? Why did you just like lie? If you just refuse to say anything, that's still you lying. No, like, it's just me not saying nothing. And, and see, that's for me. That's that's why I guess it's I don't withholding hold, information at that point. I don't hold any negative ramification for lying because I look at it as just the same as me not saying anything to you. Because if I'm choosing to abstain from giving you information that I know that would make you behave in a way. I've chosen to do the same thing that I was going to do with lying to you. Mm. I've chosen to manipulate the situation in a way that I believe is most conducive. So, yeah, I can feel better because I didn't tell a lie. But that, again, like I said, is, I think, more rooted in people's morality of how they feel about the act of, like, telling non-truths and lying to people and how that has been perceived. But I don't think that you abstaining from saying anything... Achieves the same objective as me lying. I think it would neutralize it. 
you're not about to get you neither one of y'all about to gain anything but are you really losing anything either but what do i gain from lying that's what i'm saying like now at this point it's about you it's not really about you protecting nobody else like what am i gaining from lying what am i you really just don't want to see the other person's reaction towards you from saying the truth it hasn't what if it's not a reaction towards me what if the truth is this person disrespected me and i know letting you know that it's going to make you react in a way that is not conducive for this situation Mm-hmm. And it has nothing to do with me. Maybe it's not conducive for their, what you're trying to do right now in this situation. So I don't see how that's self. Because I could watch all this shit go up in smoke and all my shit be cool. Or I could just let this go. Be like, nah, everything's good. We having a great time. And keep it moving. Because I know realistically going down that path isn't going to net us any benefit. But just like me not saying anything about it is going to lead us down the same path of us having a good time. You not knowing what's going on. So me lying about it or me not saying it going to get the same result. So for me, that's why they're the same. You are still, the t- intent is the same, to manipulate a situation so that you don't have to deal with someone's outcome, so you don't have to hurt someone's feelings, so you don't have to explore a situation, so you can prevent something to ha- from happening to somebody. Like, regardless of whether you're silent or you lie, your intent is generally the, based in, or rooted in the same shit. So it's just how you go about enacting it what about in a situation where like you got your girl you with your girl and her girl start hitting on you would you say something to her like your girl hitting on me man i don't like it yes yeah yeah mm-hmm. because so, regardless of how you gonna react to that mm-hmm. i feel like my level of loyalty to you in this situation like i don't know this bitch from adam mm-hmm. the only reason she around me is because you around me right so for me to give her some level of like for me to just like let this transgression of her clearly showing me she's not loyal to you and allowing you to have just unworthy people around you would be my my thought process there. Like, I'm not gonna let this person that clearly doesn't have your best interest stay around you when she just tried to put my whole dick in her mouth. Right. You probably should know that. Your homegirl, wow, you shouldn't hang out with her no more. She was trying to get little Jimmy <laughs> and the bandits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you gotta end it with the Jimmy. Yeah, yeah cause the emperor was hiding. <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of here. Next this question. Nigga. Yeah, <laughs> Next question, you fucking filthy animals. Uh many people want to know everything about their partner. What is something that what is something you'd want your significant other to keep to themselves? Any sexual activity details with other people yeah i don't need that or care yeah about not the, like i'm sure that you've done other things with other people and i'm really not interested in that no, i'm pretty i can guarantee i'm it, not gonna ask it doesn't make me <laughs> excited it doesn't make me i happy think everybody can agree on that like why right. the fuck <laughs> unless i'm trying to hear yeah. a funny story like no. if it's funny no i'm trying to hear like what that's crazy no, I, don't I don't need that mad. either no, like, do i don't that, i don't want to hear anything about like that's you your personal memories. People. You keep those. I probably wouldn't tell you nothing like that if you didn't want to hear it. But if you have a funny sex story to tell me, please tell me. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, see, I have a really good memory. Mm-hmm. And, like, since my mind is overactive, you could do something or say something that's going to trigger that thought for me. And I'm going to be pissed off again. I don't need that. For what? This is dumb. I, I don't need that. Because they fucked somebody else and it was funny. And you was like, mm, you fucked somebody else. Is that what it is? Besides me in that moment, I'm thinking about you fucking somebody else. Yeah, so I'm thinking that. about you fucking somebody else, and I oh, okay. really don't need the thought of you fucking other people in my head. Like, that's not. Yeah, that's not. For what? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an uncomfortable thought. Yeah, like why? Why am I trying to explore that? Like, yeah, my girl fucking other people. Like, mm, no, I don't. Mm, I don't want to tell you that. I'm good. I don't need that. What else? <laughs> I'm trying to think. What else? I don't want. Don't want my dude to tell me. Hmm. I guess it's mainly self, like, I guess it is mainly so sexual exploit. Yeah, I don't want to hear about how you loved on another person. Because sexual exploits, I really don't give a fuck about. But, oh, this person made me feel so safe. Oh, so leave. <laughs> like, why are you here? Right, now I feel like you come, are, are you, we playing the compare game? That's what we're doing? Yeah, like. Like, why you just going to keep. I mean, well, I hate when, like, da, da, da. my mom used to do this for me. Like, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay. That's a really weird statement. My mom used to do this for me. Well, my mm. mom did it like this. 
Okay. I've heard that before. I, that's weird that niggas say Good that. Good thing that's, I'm not your mother. I don't know what <laughs> niggas did that, but I know what the niggas did that to me. That's wild. I'm sure that there's more than like, I'm sure that if it's happened to you, that it's happened to more women. Yeah. And we're, because since y'all, you deal with, and women deal with niggas on a much higher rate than me and Marcus would. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that since me and him aren't, that niggas say it. <laughs> he women. said on a much right. higher rate. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, 1% is definitely clear than 0%. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to. No, nah, I have gotten into arguments with females. So like, that's not how my mama used to do it. It'd be like cooking and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I don't care how your mama used to do it. No, I've never <laughs> had a woman tell me that either. That's not how my mama used to do it. I don't care. I'm saying how my mom used to do it either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I Unfortunately, think. I don't come from that family where there's that deep lineage of food passed down from member to member to member. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> nah, I can cook for real. and I don't think that. I think that's it. Like, I think the main joy is like, people don't want to know who you fucked, how you fucked them how your last relationship was in comparison and like this is what i need to improve and i like the way this was done before hmm. yeah I, don't know. I mean here here's my thing with that whole situation mm-hmm. if you even if you're trying to be like oh this is something i liked right how about you not put it in that form <laughs> in that like sense i like yeah. i want you to do just tell me hey i want you to do this like for example you like getting your back scratched it was like oh yeah instead of being like Oh yeah, my ex, da da da, whoever used to scratch my back like this, but hey, scratch, scratch my, my back. back. Yeah, just ask for the <laughs> shit that you like. Simple. Don't tell me where it came from, <laughs> right? Because now like I don't want to do right. it. Right now, I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to be around you. I hate no. you. And it, and it'd be something stupid. It'd be something crazy because it'd be like that's something you really like, and now you just fucked it up for yourself. You fucked, fucked it up. all the way. Do it all the way out the window. You don't get that. <laughs> Yeah, nah, because it'd be crazy. Don't be asking me for no wild shit. What's wrong with you? Talking about, oh, I like this. I bet you do. (laughs) 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 It go another way. Should I forget about my fantasies for the sake of my boyfriend or girlfriend? No. Why? Mm. No. Would you tell him about it? My sexual fantasy? Yeah, like the not top tier one. Oh, you mean like, so should I give up on like... Yeah, like not trying to pursue it. Yeah, yes, you should. Yes. Then the answer is yes. I changed my mind. Now, would you tell him about it? No. <laughs> Why not? For what? I don't know. Why? Why? So, girl, maybe okay, she might like I it. I agree with what he's saying, but my question still remains, why? Why not? For what? Why not? Why, what, how you know she ain't gonna like getting it done? How she like, baby, this is it. We about to do it. Cause most likely, do you want your fantasy to be with your your significant other for real, for real? Cause that's why it's a fantasy, right? Cause it's not around in reality. No. 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 Cause like, think about it, right? Mm-hmm. If your fantasy, it's a fantasy, so it's not grounded in reality. All right. I don't want to ground it in reality by having you with her. <laughs> I thought about that shit in the car. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so now nah, I have the, I have the opposite problem. Mm-hmm. I would be completely willing to enact any of my fantasies with my chick. That's completely fine. Mm-hmm. The reason that I, me and my chick can't talk about certain <laughs> fantasies is because certain fantasies you don't qualify for. Mm. <laughs> you might not be a midget. <laughs> That would also make sense. Yes, that, that would, would make sense. That, yeah, I so didn't. Like, I didn't think about that, but so that like, would yeah, also qualify. Uh, I have fantasies apply. like that you just might not qualify for, but anything you qualify, I'm definitely down to do with you. <laughs> Can she be there? And she like, yeah, babe, I'm trying to. No, that's that's not midget. my fantasy. That, that's um, not what if, she fantasy. Fit, what if she gets you to midget? No, don't know. Okay, that's fine, but you can't be here. Yeah, that's <laughs> not the fantasy. The fantasy my is that you watching all of you. But like, yeah, what if my fantasy is fucking like. An anorexic chick and you are normal size. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not gonna work for right. my fantasy. Like that. Like I'm just trying to here. feel this. I'm trying to see what a seventy pound chick feel like real quick. <laughs> you ain't never tossed her like I could just lift her with one arm. I got her up. There. I had her like this and then yeah, <laughs> and then put her back in the air like like Simba. 
and it brought her back crashing down. That's explicit. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. In my head. <laughs> now yeah. I gotta imagine that fucked up that situation. <laughs> Because now I gotta imagine that shit. Like he really <laughs> here describing that and asking me no. that he slammed on his dick. Man. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm saying like, please. If you don't qualify for fantasies like that, then no, I wouldn't consider you, and we wouldn't talk about them. And I'm not gonna pursue them because now I'm fucking with you. Mm-hmm. But anything that is just like a fantasy that's more of a idealistic plays event that we could do escapade and i'm trying to include you get your ass on this plane let's see what it's going what's hidden for <laughs> uh, my high club ain't never had two members today <laughs> <laughs> shit Hell Come man. What you talking about yeah i probably wouldn't say anything but i wouldn't exclude it if i said something and he was trying to make it happen. I wouldn't exclude him from it. Thank you. That's the least I could do if you was on board with it. Some had to turn you on about it. Shit, let's go. Why not? This is great. Well, your fantasy was like getting fucked by two dudes and he wanted to make that happen for you, but he didn't want to be one of the dudes. How would that make you feel about him? You a team player, but <laughs> I feel like you lying. You she lying said, like you a team, team player, player uh, nigga. What? Is. No, I'm going to do it. Like, who am I to but tell you, you that you keeping him? Huh? You he, keeping him? Staying? Yeah. Like together? <laughs> you see how they <laughs> together? You see that? That there, there it like is. Right together? There. Exactly. See? Wait a minute. <laughs> no, I didn't think about it. Shit, I didn't think that far yet. I was still in the I process of the present. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> he was like, "No, nah, you gotta stay, huh?" I really did not register uh-huh. at all. Yeah, uh-huh. you stay with him. No, he was a team him. player. He just had me it's not a team niggas. no more. Yeah, he had you <laughs> fuck two other niggas. You, you see that just that sigh of disappointment you just had? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy shit because she was happy for like all of two seconds. I yeah. was. And then she, she was like, well, well hell, I don't want to be with you. Right. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> No, that's what happened. I would like to nah. go home now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. I appreciate you for the ride. For <laughs> this wonderful time I had. This is a great present. We can. Uh, I... I won't be seeing you for any more well, presents. It's that thing I'll get after y'all that post nut clarity. That's basically what happened after yeah. that. Don't oh, call this is me where I'm or at. text me anymore? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Blocked. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know. Like, mm, I ain't gonna say that on the mic. Because I was like, yo, what, what haven't I done? I was like, that sounds gross. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Say y'all together, right? Holy fucking bliss. Somebody cheated. Doesn't matter who. Would you tell your friends or family if you saw... Wait, that was not the fucking question. I was like, wait. I'm no, no. All right. right so lost. I definitely lost. Hey, anyway, I'm just going to read the question. Would you tell your friend or family if you saw or knew their partners was cheating? Yes. Wait, wait huh? Say it again? So if you saw... It, yes. If, if you saw a bitch cheating on me or you saw a bitch cheating on your yeah. brother, would you tell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why am I oh, not telling? No. Why? Why are you tell? Because bitch, are what are you doing? All right, you think you slick? Yeah. You fucked oh, up you when you let me up. see you. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, you failed. <laughs> you failed right. the cheating test, ho. Yeah. What is your issue? You yeah. thought you just had to hide from him? No. no all That's of... crazy. Why would I be on your side? Yeah, That's, it's crazy you. to think I would be against my family member I'd or a friend. Or a friend. Yeah. <laughs> because of him. I right. don't know you for real. <laughs> You only here because of him. If you would have disappeared, he'd still be here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna crazy. see how that happens. Watch. <laughs> what? <laughs> you about to disappear right now. Right. What if they get mad at you? Who? What if Marcus and Tony like we all got mad at each other? Like, we love this hoe. Why you over here telling me she cheated? <laughs> okay. How would you I beat Marcus up? You beat Marcus up <laughs> if you Marcus for real. Like, why'd you for real? Because like, I told him that his girl was cheating on yeah, him. Yeah, he really like was just like, yo, and what the fuck, won. man? I'm angry at you. I'm, I'm angry at everybody. I'm gonna fight him. No, won. that's a, that's a normal that's reaction not, when people get yeah, mad. That's, not, that, yeah, that's a I'm weird reaction to, to me. I'm going to fight him. Like, why would <laughs> like I wouldn't? I couldn't even fathom myself having that reaction. Yeah. Like, there's no world in which I imagine myself being like, damn, why the fuck would you tell me that? You just ruined it. What? No. You just like you don't know how angry you're gonna be in a moment, like, cause of, like, no, like it doesn't. It but doesn't. you mad at me? The, <laughs> I didn't put my the, yo what regardless <laughs> of me because your bitch cheated mind, on you. The way it would come about, there would be no 
anger towards the person that told me that mm-hmm. it couldn't it couldn't form that way it doesn't make sense it's not logical for me to be mad at the person that told me well anger don't really need to be logical all the time you just really mad like I, my whole life gotta change now because this hoe over here being a hoe so and then you why came over to him? me to tell me some shit like that i'm mad at everybody that doesn't uh, even make sense to me. If he gets Emotions that. don't make sense, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, Okay, I understand what you're saying, but I can't imagine a world in which my emotions would make me... I'm saying that <laughs> Like, it don't make sense. I'm fighting I'm him. Fighting him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because I'm not going to understand how I came to give you <laughs> some knowledge and look out for you because this bitch is going behind your back doing some shit got you out here looking crazy. Mm-hmm. And... It's more about, like, if I seen her do it, she don't got no respect for you. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a certain level of cool. If she cheating on you, it should be so hidden, no one should know about it. It's not my business. But the fact that I've seen it, now it is. So I got to let my nigga know. But you mad at me? We got to square up. Because you tripping, too. I don't know what your problem is, but you can keep that hoe. But I'm about to fight you because you, you want to yell at me because this bitch cheating on you. Bet. I'm going to hit you in your mouth because I'm not going to be talked to like that when you should be talking to her like that. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking to? That's funny. So anyways, like I said. That's how I feel about that. It's not a situation. But you know, I wouldn't I can't imagine it. If you tell me that my chick is cheating on me, I appreciate you. Like, bitch, what is you doing? Why am I Right, our conversation is now over and now I'm talking to her. Yeah, I'm calling. (laughs) Hey. That's so creepy, man. So my nigga said that. I'm not even sorry. So what was she doing the other day? That's a crazy nigga response. <laughs> well, what was she doing the other day? You see how cool he is? Hell fucking no. Nope. What was you doing? Uh, you already know. You sure? What the fuck? So you ain't see Marcus? <laughs> oh, That's you did terrible. see Marcus. Oh, why didn't you tell me you saw him? Every question you're asking is just building up your crazy nigga response. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting madder and madder. Yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> lie you tell me, because you don't know what I know, it's creeping and you just like, walking hmm. yourself deeper into this hole. <laughs> okay, and you just sounding like, all right, so uh huh, that's crazy nigga questions. level rage. Until like he you just get all the way there. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let you I know. I will never come home after let, that. I'm gonna let you know about I'm yourself because you just sat here and told me this whole last lie right here on the phone. If I hear that level of coolness when I know you start asking <laughs> about Marcus, oh, I'm not going home. <laughs> No, I'm going to go get a passport. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I'm not coming home. That crazy level build up. <laughs> this and that's the crazy shit. I always had that thought. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you be out here. You do what the fuck you doing. You doing what you do. I'm leaving. You're fucked up when you cross my path. My thing is, I'm just going to ask you. So what, what you up to right now? You already know. That's crazy nigga no, shit. See, the reason I'm asking what you up to right now is because. I need you to be. I need, I need to know where you at. <laughs> Cause now I'm pulling up on no, you. No, I'm leaving. There's no, no way. You had, what was you That's, doing yesterday? No, I, I don't know. start off with that. I, what you up to right now? I'm da 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 da. I had a question though. <laughs> See, no, nah, nigga. Nah. That's all right. I'm on my guard. As soon as I got a question though, I'm on my guard right That's there. That's fine, but you've already told me where you at, so it don't matter. I'm leaving. Like, ooh, oh, I'm waiting I'm in the parking lot. I'm in the parking lot. As I'm talking to you and you figuring out. No, nah, when you I'm got, upset, especially with that in your I'm voice, to you. <laughs> it don't even matter. Like, oh, what you do? Like, I heard that level of crazy. Like, <laughs> like even if it, the milk was just left out, or like it's on some funny shit. Like, oh, this is about to be serious after this. If a nigga ask you, so. Let me ask you a question. I've heard that from so many niggas. That's right there. Oh, there's about to be some bullshit after this. Yeah, now the you. questions after that, and I know I'm cheating, and I know you crazy nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving. I just have questions. No. Nah. And, and hopefully you guys. All answers. crazy niggas got questions <laughs> while they building up that rage to come do some wild crazy shit. Yeah, you gotta know. You gotta ask it more is. questions. I'm <laughs> it's it it like you, we get ready to go super sad. You but, already uh, fucking. I've seen the level of crazy. And I know the symptoms. I'm like, hey, so, um, who this? See how you just asked that? Crazy as fuck. What? Niggas be thinking, yeah, bitches out here. And collect it? Nah. Who this? Especially if you gotta turn a nice nigga crazy. Don't do that. Please don't do me. <laughs> if you gotta turn a decent man crazy, that's so bad. <laughs> don't do that. Don't. What you had yesterday? <laughs> See, all that shit right there. Ooh, it might be time for me to leave because this nigga knows something. <laughs> he know I ain't filed my taxes in 2012 and I got the IRS letter. Like, <laughs> you know something. But I'm not about to be around for for that fucking nah, see, I'm gonna hit you with tornado. That. So, 
What was you doing at the club yesterday? See, too many questions. No, I'm getting right to the point of where you didn't say you was at. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that. You told me about shit. everybody, every, every place but the club, huh? The, uh, I, he Forgot knows about that, that I went out. Mm. Yeah, you saw Marcus, right? Why didn't you say nothing? So why didn't you tell me, though? I don't understand. Where you at? <laughs> mm, I'm on East 142nd Street, but really, <laughs> I'm on the fucking great house. Like, don't you fucking Realistically, kid? I've no. already started driving to your house no. before I called you. All right, I'm not at home. No, because at that point, like I said, there's something going wrong. If I'm cheating and you start asking me them questions. But I've already, before I called you, I was headed to your house. I'm not at the house. I don't give a fuck. You, I don't you, know where I'm at. Hope I'm lying. You're not home. <laughs> <laughs> because will you answer the phone? Because at this point, if I'm cheating on you, oh, I got the lies. Now I got more questions. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Crazy why shit. You, I heard. Why do you need? Why to is there so much wrestling? Like, where are you about to go? No, I'm don't moving. go nowhere. I'm coming over. Oh. And then when you tell you coming over, oh, so you not gonna be there? <laughs> I'm just getting madder. <laughs> I'm gonna be at your mom's house. <laughs> Are you just gonna leave, huh? Someone gonna have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you want your mom to Get see this? Your mom. <laughs> you want so your mom to see these pictures? No. Who's gonna be involved in this? Is it oh, gonna be us yeah, involved no, in this and have a nice conversation, or There's is me no and your nice mom conversation like, happening hey, with your crazy ass at this point? Me no. and your mom could have a conversation. Let you have it. You ain't having it with me, but, <laughs> buddy. I'm gone. But I will be there until you get back. <laughs> <laughs> You asking my mom what you got to eat? No, nah, <laughs> I ain't asking her shit. I'm sitting outside her house in the tuck. <laughs> what the fuck? So that lady? way, when she come to you, come over to mom's house because I know you eventually gonna feel a little safe and want to run to mama. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you get to mama, I'm popping up at the house, knocking on the door. <laughs> I'm here too. Hey, you been, where you been at? <laughs> I'm looking for you. Yeah. I had this conversation. Then this is why cheating is a no no for Ash. I'm too lazy for all that bullshit. Why? Why am I going through all these lies? Why are you acting like that? I just want to talk. No, you don't, my I nigga. Do. Oh, my fucking God. Just want to have a conversation. I do just want to talk to you. Just, you just want to talk. Nope. I just hope that this conversation is positive. <laughs> what? What were you doing? <laughs> why? Okay. As soon as Tony hits you with the okay, I'm definitely like I'm calling for help for that poor young lady. Like, <laughs> you help you feel safe. Damn, I'm so sorry. She gonna be fine. I'm not gonna touch her. We just I mean, gonna touch her. her. Some crazy shit about to go off. Something crazy is gonna happen. Both of y'all, I'm so sorry, but what? Y'all crazy as fuck. Mm mm mm. Why do you feel like that? Because y'all crazy. Like, y'all nah. really got the crazy nigga response. Oh, okay. That oh, okay? Oh, my God. This is a, because at this point, right, you got to think about it. If I'm having this, I'm just, like I said, I'm just having a conversation with you. Whatever you do, you doing. So if you get defensive, you get mad, you get all that, I'm still going to talk to you just like this. Crazy nigga. I'm not going to get loud. I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to talk to you. Yeah, somebody going to get that crazy shit. And the more I poke a pride, you just gonna reveal more of your cards, more of your hand, cause you get more agitated, you get more irritated, or whatever the hell is going on in the situation. But all right, no, so it don't matter. <laughs> Telling you, I just want to hear you say it. Please don't cheat on either one of these people. I hate to see y'all in a fucked up situation. Not that they're gonna do anything, but it <laughs> insanity will ensue. <laughs> y'all crazy as fuck. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not. Yes, I she mean, is. I'm not. You're the only nigga that ain't said it. Because <laughs> I feel like you the only one that's like further no. conversation on a recorded device <laughs> doesn't lead to positive outcomes. You right. Yep. Y'all y'all cool on that. That's how I know y'all crazy. That's all right. I still fuck with y'all so heavy. But I don't know. Cheated is just it's a lot of work, man. A conversation, just Shout conversation. Out to motherfucker that be cheating and put in that work to cheat. I'm not doing that shit. You know, what I think is weird, hmm. when, not when someone cheats, but like, when you date someone and you know the way they are, when they're not in a relationship, and do you break up with them, <laughs> then they behave that way. I don't get it. I mean... 
Margaret, explain it to her because she don't understand. I, I kind of don't understand what you said. I get what you said, but then I don't get what you said. It's like, you know how someone is when they're single. And then they get in a relationship. With and you, you get basically, they get mad that you go back to how being how you were when you were single after the relationship. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's pretty normal, though. Well, I mean, I don't know what you expect from me. Why would I act yeah, like I was in a relationship, that? right? Why am I still acting like I'm in a relationship? Because you want me to act like I'm hurt and destroyed that I don't have you anymore? When does this happen? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Who's expecting you to be relationship y after you become single? I mean, it's happened before. <clears throat> you know, I've been in a, it happened to me before. Hmm? I mean, it's not like relationship y, it's like you just saw you about the situation. Like, I ain't got nobody. I don't want you to have nobody Oh, like, either. you out here fucking somebody. Yeah. What you doing fucking this person? It's not oh. even, like, just a split person. It's more or less, like, you know how I was. This is what I was doing when you met me. So, you thought us being in a relationship or something would have changed that. You thought, or maybe you thought I was going to come back to you or some of the sense. And, no, I just that's got back to being though. normal. That's different. Like, that's like me dating somebody and I know they had all these shitty things that I liked and I didn't like. And then I get with them and then expect them to change. It's not like you said something different or am I tripping? No, 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 no. And then you get out of the relationship uh-huh. and you expect like something to come back from it or something to send. Because like realistically, if you in a relationship mm-hmm. with somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all break up, that's it. You're not, you don't care. But. Some people still care? Yeah. That's what he's oh. saying. Like, because it's like <clears throat> you knew who I was. So why do you, why do you care what I'm doing when I'm single and I'm not with you again? I just went back to doing what I was doing. That poor soul. So now you mad that I'm doing what I was doing? No, you're mad that I'm doing what I'm doing, not with you anymore. Essentially. Or something along those lines. Variations, you know. Yes. Hmm. Basically that. Or even if y'all get, if y'all talk again, they mad that you were the original you instead of the person that you were while you were with them. Right. Oh. I don't know why you expected that to happen. No. Why you suck? Like, why would, I was doing. Well, then, like, why are you still talking to people that you broke up with? That's weird. I mean, some people double back. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a fan of the double back. Why? Hmm. Why not? Sometimes you why are you still keeping that door open with somebody you broke up with? That's weird. But why is it weird? Because you still letting them know that I still want access to you. But you didn't tell me why that was weird. You didn't have this person in your life. It mm-hmm. didn't really work out. Time for you to go. <laughs> you was the mm-hmm. ex for a reason. That situation didn't work out. I mean, we could be cool. But I know you intimately. I chosen like I don't want you really around me. I mean, I ain't That's doing weird. Sh- I, I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> I got <laughs> here's one thing. Like I got to say if that was weird if I was like in a relationship with somebody, uh-huh. and like I was like with an ex but or see, somebody, the and then we was just we like we just stopped being around it, but we were still like friends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then I got in a relationship. I can understand why it'd be weird then, because now I'm with talking to somebody else, and I've had like I know you. In another way. But okay, I get that. That shit is fucked up. So you a relationship like, and it's like, oh, well, I can't really talk to you. But if like I'm, how it was but if I'm single and mm-hmm. I, there's nothing linked in why I don't see where there's an issue because there's no one because well, oh, it only becomes is, an issue because the other person has an issue. What with if it. you? My thing is even beyond that. Why is it weird to go back and date an ex? Maybe it wasn't the right time. That I can see. But that don't really happen too, too often. I mean, I'm not saying it's like a common occurrence, but I mean, it, it does, does if you're a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let me yeah. explain. Niggas generally control a vast 80% of the direction a relationship is going in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that. Women. Oh, bitch. <laughs> that was such a natural reaction. <laughs> yes, I did just call the microphone that I bumped a bitch. Pray for his anatomy, not a big scale. I don't think they okay. 
Everything is fine. No, that's, that's what an abuser would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that just came out so smoothly. Was... No hesitation. Yeah, I was mad. You didn't think about it. I did. I was immediately upset. I'm telling like... you, it's PS4. It's not safe, man. Man, I was mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did you just do that? But anyway. Um, fuck, what was I saying? That just made me mad. I forgot. Oh, shit. What were you? Um, dating somebody else. What was I saying? I don't remember. Um, what were we talking you about? You said that men have 80% control. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so like, generally women are waiting for the man to make <clears throat> a lot of the first moves. And is he going to ask me to be his girlfriend? Is he going to ask me to marry him? Is he going to ask me to move in with him? Like, all of these, is he going to ask me situations? pretty much put us in like the driver's seat for a majority of like where relationships end up so for a guy or at least for me i can see how a lot of the situations ended up in a bad position or ended up ending because tony wasn't willing to just like even explore this situation tony was like nah i would just say no i'm done with this for no other reason than I want to go explore what's over there. Nothing to do with what the situation is. You could be an amazing person, but Tony's just not willing to explore any of these or even really like invest in this enough to know who you are as a person. So for me, it's like I could really give things a shot or I could not be giving things a real shot. So going back for me, it's like, well, you could really like invest in this and things like that and I say so I think that some men can see it as like well no I wasn't really like committed to this situation the first time and I wanted to see what it's like to like be invested and deal with this person mm. but I don't know if that's the same for women or at least for you I guess but you, you're like nah we left fuck it nigga I'm really decisive once I make up my mind. I'm not decisive a lot of times, but when I'm just like... You cut the oh. dick off and throw it out the window? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to damage that part, but not like... <laughs> why do I still want to be your friend? Like, I could be cordial, and I could genuinely want the best for you, but we done went through this, and you're not it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't understand anything else. Like... And Ash ain't never been in no short-term relationship, for real. And I haven't been in a lot, but I've been enough to know, like, your character and how you act with certain things. Have you really been my friend in the first place? To know that, like, no, nah, you probably not a good friend because you didn't do whatever A, B, and C to, to, in my eyes to be a good friend and keep you around in that aspect. Um, yeah, like, you an ex for a reason. Like, excommunicado, nigga, exit. Like, <laughs> What? <laughs> Bye. That's weird as fuck. Nah, you can't stay here. Fuck. Bye. Oh, I'm real good at that one. Nah. Because I know, um, never mind, I can't say his name, but I know an ex that tried to be like, yeah, what's up? Like, nothing, nigga. Bye. Like, <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> mm. Everything cool over here. Get the fuck out of my face. The thing we talked about? Mm hmm. Oh, that's the pro. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So no, get the fuck out of here. I don't. I don't know you. Who are you? I don't even know who you was. Like, how many years ago was that? You're not even the same person. I don't even want to get to know this new person. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> the fuck I look like. I don't Ooh, think there's I... anything wrong with that. Yeah. Even my first one, and I ain't got that much animosity towards like. We can say hi and shit, but I'm not trying to get to know you again. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Probably not even the person I want to get to know now. You all damaged and shit. <laughs> like, from our <laughs> last time. <laughs> oh, damaged ass. I <laughs> want you. <laughs> Imagine you just keep flinging this nigga. That's how people is. Get the fuck out of my way. Like, <laughs> don't need to be around me. I don't like clutter. Exes are clutter. And I stay cleaning up. Ooh, that was smooth. Mm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's it for me. 
All right. <laughs> this has been the Conscious Reconstruction podcast on that note, because Ash is smooth <laughs> can't work like her. butter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah. Make sure you, I'm not going to say that, because y'all already know what to do, like, subscribe, all that shit. That's what, I'm not going to That's what niggas do it. now. Yeah. That's everyday life. Just like you brush your teeth, nigga, like, cl- click, all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like and click it, all that. All the magics. It happens here at Disneyland.